Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Good morning, my lovely friends. Welcome to Sunday's Sewing Street. Uh, hello, hello, how are you? Are you still in your gym jams? Can you wear gym jams at the moment? It's still warm, isn't it? It's still warm. <laughs> Don't send in pics. <laughs> um, it's still warm. Oh my goodness me. I'm, this is the one time I'm really happy to be in a hotel because I can have the aircon on until it's glacial. I actually need a blanket. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, whatever, whatever keeps you going, eh? We've got two early birds. Two early birds. Let's do it. <laughs> right then, our first early bird is the so easy nine piece circle template set um so what you get inside the pack is a set of nine different circles now they range in size you've got one inch one and a half two two and a half three three and a half four four and a half and guess what the last one is you got it five how many of you shouted five <laughs> Lots of you. Now, every one of these circles is laser cut. They have markings on them to show you what size the circle is, and it's the diameter. Um, also, each one of them has the quarter marks and the diagonals marked, so split up into eights, which makes uh, placement really good because you can put little marks on your circle. Now, um, this would be great for things like Drunkard's Path, but in particular for applique, for circle applique. Um, absolutely fantastic for that. Um, and I love my circle appliques. I'm often doing circles in my quilt making. Um, in Simple Shape Stunning Quilts, for example, the cover quilt, Lollipop Flowers, is all circles and actually there's a whole whole chapter on curves now um normal price is 25.99 but this is our royal early bird and you're gonna love it you're gonna love this it is 12.90 is that half price yes it is Tw half price that is fab um really fantastic quality uh laser cut 
and I really like the colour of them as well because that's going to really show up against any fabrics really any fabrics at all. Hilary says, morning lovely, didn't know we would have the pleasure of you this morning. Here I am. Uh, Steph says, morning, I'm in lovely cotton lawn pyjamas, white with tiny blue flowers. Oh, they sound cute. Gosh, it was hot last night, wasn't it just? Sandra's got in touch, saying, good morning lovely Stuart, lying on the couch doing my lobster impression. Uh, need to see that. Never believe the weather forecast. Oh, sunburned ouch past the after sun do you know what i found in the past works really well a, a a cold tea bag brew a tea bag let it go cold and then and then use that on your skin and it's really cooling um leslie joy says good morning stuart good morning my lovely now i'm going to give you a top tip for using these circle templates because you rotary cut around them you could mark round them with a friction pen and cut them out with, with scissors if you wanted to. But the best thing to use is a 28 mil rotary cutter. Um, we've actually got this in the 12 o'clock show, so I've just grabbed this one. But the 28 mil, yeah, shall we? We'll just give you the details of that because I absolutely recommend that you use because any curve templates you want to use a 28 mil rotary cutter and it will go around those curves even the little one with ease absolutely brilliant 6.99 for that it's such a good buy really recommend you get that as well if you're going for the early bird today now another thing you could use these for are quilting templates so i think circles look lovely on a quilt so all you would do there is you just to draw around them so just use a friction pen use a friction pen draw draw around your, your template you could overlap them you could stack them you know and have interlocking circles they should be 25.99 but today you're going to pay 12.99 half price um, another way you could use these as a quilting pattern, I think they'd look really lovely if you overlapped them. You could create a lovely sort of overlapping pattern or you could um, draw out a grid first of all and then lay your circles on top of the grid so they were evenly spaced and then quilt around them. That would be lovely too. Really, really useful set this. Fantastic price as well. Half price at $12.99. Use them for cutting out Drunkard's Path. Use them for cutting out... Um, circles for a plique and also use them as quilting templates actually the larger ones would make really really nice um, Christmas decorations and coasters as well so you could layer up quilt then cut out and then bind with bias binding yeah very lots and lots of usefuls for these and who wants to cut out or draw out circles really good to have i mean i i'll be honest with you at home i often grab an egg cup or a bowl or a plate they're never quite the size i want them to be but i compromise these are all perfect inch and half inch sizes tell you something else you could use these for um i do love a rounded corner on either a bag flap or on things like placemats table runners sometimes quilts as well so you could use these for rounding off the corners of you know bag panels and also because they're made of eighth of an inch thick perspex like quilt rulers you can rotary cut around them if you are going to rotary cut around these you need a uh, 28 millimeter rotary cutter so uh, one of these 28 mil rotary cutters um, these are 6.99 they're on the website a, a message good morning from leslie i have this template set had it years it's so useful have a good day thanks leslie you have a good day too um they are the more you the more you think about it the more useful a set of circle templates is really 12.99 um uh <laughs> Viv says, morning Stuart, waiting for a food delivery so I can have an ice lolly for breakfast. Oh, I like how you roll. Fabulous. Steph says, has your shirt got a polka dot design or are they monsters? It's actually like an ikat weave. So the so the, the thread is, is dyed in splodgy and then it's woven and it creates these sort of slightly splodgy polka dots. 
Um, Marie says, uh, Morning Stuart, how did you know I was still in my PJs? <sighs> It's just a thing. Uh, lovely and sunny here in Islington, but cool here in my kitchen, watching Sewing Street with the garden door open. Got six cushions to make after breakfast. Well, that sounds like a fun morning. Margaret says, morning all. Good morning, my lovely. Uh, let's all crack on with our sewing morning, shall we? We've got a gorgeous first early bird which is this set of circle templates half price 12.99 but our second early bird is this now i'm thinking school summer holidays are coming children to be kept occupied and um i would absolutely have given my eye teeth for a big pack of felt to play with over the summer holidays finger puppets and glove puppets um easy applique blocks making badges crowns tiaras this is just me now um 17.99 at the moment the price is crashing you're getting 60 pieces of felt so absolutely tons to keep your children busy eight pounds 98 oh that is a really good price what does that work out per sheet of felt eight pound 98 that's amazing and these are big sheets of felt these are big sheets of felt what about making 14p a sheet that's incredible that's incredible i mean you'd pay at least 35 40 pence per sheet even if you were to buy this you know in a really cheap shop wouldn't you you definitely would you definitely would or even on a market stall you'd pay more than that that is amazing look at all these gorgeous colors um we've also got light blues we've got purple we've got dark pink light pink third of the stock's gone you're thinking what i'm thinking aren't you you're thinking that is the best eight pound 98 i'll spend if it means that i have happy kids happy grandchildren a, you know a busy box this might be for you anyway there could be christmas decorations you could make really easy bunting with this um, either scissors or even better pinking shears and then you could cut up you know long triangles and then you could hand sew them get yourself a roll of bias binding wide bias binding and then just do a running stitch and put them in running stitch good morning Stuart I bought the felt from a previous show it's amazing value says Georgina and Kent it is amazing value half the stock's gone now um there's a few of you on the phone lines too hang in there um I love the fact that you've got all those different colors another thing you can use felt for of course is things like um soft toys you can make some really cute easy soft toys and literally just an outline so for example a teddy bear you know almost like cookie cutters um gingerbread men you could do those and decorate them with beads and buttons embellishments you know just uh, one of the nicest things i think you can do actually is to have lovely resources like this you know a, a button tin loads of felt some embroidery floss some glitter you know some glue and then just let kids be creative some templates and your templates as i say might be biscuit cutters if those are what you've got or if you've got some quilting templates that you can cut out in advance um felt's really really easy to hand sew as well if you've not used it before it's a lovely thing to work with you can embroider on it so you can do just simple embroidery so again you could put a piece of felt into an embroidery hoop again uh, needles embroidery floss you could mark a design and just let kids have fun just creating different stitches uh, absolutely fab keep going through for the felt that is absolutely flying out don't forget as well our second early bird is the set of nine circular templates everything from one inch to i've got to put all this away now haven't i to 
five inches. I'm doing it though, I'm doing it. Look, I'm doing it. A chance this morning, Stuart, and all. Good morning. Good. They haven't had their morning coffee yet, I'm sorry. <laughs> I have, I have. I was slurping on a cappuccino at quarter past four this morning. It's how I roll. Thank you, Kat. Absolutely wonderful. Let's do le menu. Hello menu. Here we go. So 8 a.m. I love a bargain. Clearance fabric. I'm going to give you lots of ideas for how to use it too. At uh, nine o'clock, I'm met by the effervescent and ever wonderful uh, animal print clad Jenny Jackson with the June strip of the month. I know so many of you have been waiting for this already going. If you need to get your strip of the month, grab it in pre-order. Um, that's, that show's going to go until 10.30. We've got an hour and a half show because Jenny Jackson's going to be going through loads of demos. We're also going to recap all of the previous strips of the month. So if you haven't yet got on board, that is the show for you. Now at 10.30, we're going to have half an hour of lighting and tools. So if you're in the mood for a bit of uh, work lighting, stick around. And then at 11 a.m., I'm excited. It's the EPP Poof and Long Box Pouch with Jenny Jackson 2, brand new and rather fabulous projects. At 12 o'clock, sewing room tools. Uh, how do you get in touch? We love our messages. We love our messages. Please message us, studio at sewingstreet.com. Love to read out the messages. And uh, you can also message us through Facebook. I've got that right here next to me. Um, sewing Street TV. Uh, you can also go onto the website and you can send us a little message there as well, which we love, which we love. Uh, Jill sent us an email. You can email us, Angela, sorry, sewingstreet.com, saying, good morning, Stuart and team. Another sunny day in West Dorset. Have a great day. Uh, my purse is at the ready. <laughs> Did you get, Angela, thanks for that. Did you manage to get either of our early birds? Uh, great bargains there. Steph says, love felt, easy to sew, doesn't fray. When mum was in hospital, I made a felt heart for a patient in mum's ward because I became friendly with them. Oh, that's a lovely thing to do. You can do that, can't you? Easy to sew together, stuff. Brilliant early birds, absolutely brilliant early birds. They go nicely together. Now, let me show you our website, www.sewingstreet.com. Once you get there, if you click on watch live, you'll be able to do exactly that, watch us live. You can see there, uh, send a message. Or if you look below that, you'll see two columns. Uh, we've got today's show deals, that's everything we've shown so far. And then what's coming up on today's show, we often call that pre-order. Um, now, you'll be able to see these are our clearance fabrics. These are all going to be dropping and I think quite significant drops, right? Some really good deals to be had this morning. Um, oh, love that donut fabric. Gorgeous. Yeah, do it. Whiz past, whiz through. Faster, I say, faster. Don't spare the horses. Oh, some sashko panels like that. Uh, yep, yeah, lovely. Some panels as well. Is that Tilda? That Tilda's not in clearance, is it? Oh, I say. Excellent. Um, then we've got Jenny Jackson's strip of the month. It's June. Pay attention carefully with what month, by the way, because the months rather jump around. I don't know why, but they're not necessarily in order. It was loaded in the correct order, but it's it's shuffled around. You've found it so far. Well done. Um, and then we've got some tools coming up as well. Uh, we've got all the different months, all the different months. You've got June blue. There it is. Not right at the top where you might expect it, but it's there. And then look, there's Jenny Jackson's other hours. There's the EPP poof in a couple of different lovely colourways. There's a Liberty that's already flying. Oh, fewer than 25 left. Wow. OK, you'll need to be quick on that then. It's a gorgeous project. There's the long pouch, maybe for your knitting needles, crochet hooks, maybe for your knitting project. 
very nice project that you've also got a liberty version of that emily bell and then moving into some tools we've got the bias tape maker we've got some lighting my current obsession the steamer love it and that wet and dry vac very very useful for clearing up little uh, mishaps in the sewing room or anywhere else you wish of course and then lots and lots of different tools coming up uh, at 12 o'clock a lovely message from patricia morning stuart love you from blackpool lots of love to you as well pat what's the weather like now let's start it's clearance let's start with tilda wasn't expected to see tilda in clearance this is a pack of five fat quarters in my very favorite barn red sort of terracottas and um, beautiful this is from the hometown collection Arr, there we go i'm in i'm in should be 1999 this it was very very recent range this one no idea why this is in clearance but anyway you're going to make a really nice saving on this let's do it yeah yeah 14.90 that's that's a fiver off that's 25 percent off tilda which is unheard of absolutely unheard of this is a beautiful little collection of five fat quarters that works out at less than three pounds a fat quarter fabulous Two ninety nine. I don't know. I don't know. Hannah said no. It's it's three pounds something. Bless you. Oh yes, yes. It's all right. It's okay. Trust me, I'm a teacher. Um, love these colours though. Love those terracottas. That little bit of blue in there. That little bit of teal. Just lovely gorgeous collection this would be really nice to make a bag out of you could make a little wall hanging just mix a few solids perhaps a little bit of batik in there would be lovely i've actually got another fabric that's coming up this one right here which would work beautifully with that i've actually got a few fabrics that would work really nicely with that that are all on clearance so uh, bag yourself a bargain now of course each fat quarter is 18 inches by 21 inches thereabouts it's a decent sized piece of fabric very usable don't they look elegant i mean ima i always imagine them at some swish garden party it's early evening in the summer there are cocktails <laughs> This is how I imagine I want to be in the summer. The reality is kind of sweaty, mosquito bites, a little bit itchy. The eyes are red from hay fever. Um, I'm tired. I'm a bit grouchy because I can't get cool. Um, and there aren't any cocktails. Actually, yesterday, I must confess, I did have a cocktail yesterday afternoon. I had, I asked I asked the, the, the lady at the bar if she could make me a Cosmopolitan. And she said, well, we don't actually have them on the menu, but I'll give it a go. Now, a Cosmopolitan normally, of course, is in a martini glass and it's quite a short cocktail. She brought me a massive tumbler. No, I was not in Weatherspoons. How dare you? Um, <laughs> but didn't taste like a Cosmopolitan, but it was delicious. It was delicious. And it was about three o'clock in the afternoon, so it's it's worn off. Trust me, it's it's worn off. But it was lovely. It was lovely. Uh, Patricia's message back to say it's sunny and warm in Blackpool. Oh, how lovely! Charlie and I are actually planning a little trip to Blackpool uh, this summer because we've worked out that we can get the train from just down the road from the farm all the way to Blackpool. So we're just going to hop on and get the train. Mm. <laughs> oh dear poor poor hannah once fell asleep on a train and ended up in blackpool ah oh, but it's a lovely place so i mean there's worse places to turn up in yeah anyway keep going through for your tilda it's a real bargain you're saving 25 percent uh penny's got in touch to say morning stuart loving the show so far don't hold back. My wife, Sarah, has a migraine at the moment. So could you please send her a kiss, please? Thank you, Perry. Oh, Perry. 
and 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 also Sarah. Mm, I'm saying both of you, Perry as well. Oh, stay cool. It's it. It's the weather, isn't it? It's the weather. Ah, oh, feeling that. Feeling that. Hope you feel better soon, my love. Right. I'll keep those around because they're absolutely gorgeous and um, yeah. Mmm, this is a gorgeous one. This is very William Morrissey, actually, this next one. So these are all by the half metre. Oh, that's pretty, pretty. I'm thinking a pair of um, shorty pyjamas would be really cute in that. Normal price, seven forty nine. Hit me. Hit me. You're going to love this. Four ninety nine. $4.99, that's ace. So I'm thinking shorts, short sleeved pajama top, really cute, or long pajama pants, little vest top, something like that. That would be really pretty. This would also make a lovely kind of, um, you know, vanity set, you know, you have a makeup bag and little jewelry roll things like that or you could make a little set to keep things like hair straighteners or curling tongs that kind of thing in um, very sweet nice for a sewing room as well it's just delicate and pretty and lovely isn't it amazing price as well 4.99 for a half meter bag yourself a bargain next up mmm yeah so this is the one i pulled out because i think this would go really nicely with the tilde this is an ombre effect fabric this is called stratosphere from free spirit brilliant fabric company and a super useful um super useful fabric should be 5.99 a half meter for free spirit fabric that sounds like the clearance price it's 3.99 for a half meter now i'm thinking as well that would be lovely for dressmaking you could make a really gorgeous summer dress out of that whichever way you go i just love that sort of uneven stripe it's delicious isn't it um, really lovely as well as a resource for piecing and for applique because you've got your darks your mediums and your lights all in one one fabric imagine the different effects you could get depending on how you cut that morning Stuart on this bright sunny day this is Susan in Nottinghamshire 27 degrees outside at 8 25 that's Australia, surely. Heaven knows what it will be like later. Good day to stay in and watch Sewing Street. Sue in Beast. Oh, I couldn't agree more. I couldn't agree more. Um, yeah, take it easy, folks, won't you? And if you are going out, make sure you put on some uh, sun tan lotion, factor 50, and a hat, and a hat, and a hat. A wedding, drink lots of water, make sure you stay hydrated. Yeah, I'm in the studio and it is glacial in here and I love it. I love it. I'm going to sleep here. Right, what's next? Yeah, we've got a 10 inch charm pack on sale as well. All clearance these are. Now this is Moda. This is called ABC. XYZ from Stacy Sue. This is a new one. I've not even seen this before. I'm just going to move those down so I can show you. This is lovely. I like the colour palette. Jigsaws and little, oh, Abacus, single figures already. Should be $49.99. Great, $35.99. This is lovely. Make a really nice children's quilt out of this. It's a, it's a juvenile range, but it's not babyish at all. It's a sophisticated colour palette. Little bit playful. Love that. Look at this, like E for Elephant and L for Lion. Little jigsaw puzzles. That's fabulous. Isn't that cool? I've, do you know what? I've got a backing fabric that would go really well with this. 
I've got a backing fabric that would be perfect to go with this. You can make a really big quilt actually out of a layer cake or you could make a smaller quilt, you could make a bit of a bag, you could make some cushions and do a little bit of a, a nursery or kids room makeover. Loving all of those prints really sort of geometric and modern bit fresh love it 35.99 cool now i've got a backing fabric that would work really really well this is an extra wide i mean this would work really well with so many different quilts um including the one that's behind me this is coming up tomorrow at 8 a.m. or my country star quilt it would also work as a backing for that they are totally different quilts but this backing would work for either of them it's already 11.99 which is amazing this is 108 inches wide what's our price Hannah oh you are kidding me 8.99 this is 8 99 for extra wide. This is the equivalent of two and a half times the width of normal fabric. 108 inches wide, 100% cotton. Brilliant, because this is a good neutral. It's a lovely warm tan caramel cream gold. It's perfect absolutely perfect and you see what i mean this would make the most perfect backing fabric for my jason yenta sun moon and stars quilt perfect but also it would work perfectly for my country star quilt which has got all those lovely warm country colors as well this you see it here it would be perfect as the backing fabric for that both of these are coming up on tomorrow's shows 8 a.m 10 a.m grab that two and a half meters you'd want two and a half meters of that one now, next up, I've got a panel which is lurking right here. Love a panel. Love a panel. This is great. Quick quilt, quick wall hanging. But also, if you want to practice your quilting, grab yourself a panel, quilt it. By the end of it, you'll feel like an expert. Should be eleven ninety nine. This is super fun. Look at this fox and dog and cat little monkey 8.99 for that that's awesome i did have a hiccup sorry about that little rocket shooting into the sky oh and a duck a mallard duck in a spacecraft i mean ducks are adventurous mine go on all sorts of walkabouts and adventures <laughs> little satellite there as well really cool um just to let you know by the way when i go on to the next thing it doesn't mean that the last thing's sold out so obviously keep going through for that we've just got a lot to get through um i've never seen this panel before that is super cute you know what get yourself some glow in the dark thread and quilt this with glow in the dark thread you could use freezer paper cut out some big stars moons planets stick them on iron them on all over and then go in with glow in the dark thread stitch around the shape or just around the shapes that are on there i mean actually it doesn't need a lot of quilting and they're nice easy shapes you could quilt around the planet around the rocket around a few of the characters but use glow in the dark thread and then all day long it's absorbing the light and then when you turn the lights off at night the whole thing comes to life party at mine oh no i haven't oh yes glow in the dark pajamas lay still charge them up go to sleep go to sleep that's fab really cute that really cute um so many different things have you already got your tilda have you got your extra wide backing fabric are you a little bit romantic check this one out love is patient love is kind <laughs> i don't like to beg and tease but be my valentine dear 
please please that is that's a sh little bit desperate that one little bit desperate um distract me Beck. she says good morning Stuart and team just setting up my sewing station on the patio for a day of alfresco sewing oh my goodness that sounds lovely viv says it's hot in east london me and my tomato plants have a lot in common we are both wilting oh bless claire says and red as well good morning from claire good morning Stuart and all good morning my lovely this is cute though it's crashing to 5.99 now these also think you may not want these on the front of your quilts but what about as backing fabrics really economical way of doing it this is riley blake beautiful quality 100% cotton um, and you can use this on the backs of your quilts you could use this to line bags with this would also be really cute if you make cards. You could actually fussy cut some of these out and use them on cards or little gifts. The images are super cute. They're a bit 1930s, aren't they? Yeah. Very sweet. Very sweet. I want to read some more of the sentiments. Uh, it's fun to have on Valentine's Day a dandy chance to show that we love our teacher dearly, else how would she ever know? Aww. Or he, obviously. Oh, I found this little Valentine. It straight away made me think of you. I simply, well, I didn't really get the timing of that right, did I? I simply had to send it to tell you that my love is true. Dreadful. It's cute though. It's cute. Right, love this one. This is a great one to have in your stash. Is this Lisa to be Schiller? Uh. Oh, this has been my Valentine. Okay, but this is lovely. Now, now this is a Valentine range, but how perfect would that be for Christmas? How perfect would that be for a red and white double Irish chain quilt? Delicious. Did you also know that it is International Log Cabin Day? And log cabin quilts traditionally have a red square in the centre. 5 99 for a half metre. Yeah. That was good, wasn't it? I'll... <laughs> oh, I've turned into Skippy the Bush Kangaroo. What's that you say? Someone's fallen down a well, and we need to go and rescue them. Okay. Did you did you know? You probably know this already, but they had to invent that noise. Kangaroos don't make any noise, let alone. But they had to invent a noise because Skippy had to be able to tell the children when somebody had been trapped in a well. <laughs> That's lovely. I really like that fabric. I'd like some of that. Lovely. Hmm? Oh, really? Water buffaloes. I'm looking, I'm looking. Apparently I've got fabric. Oh yes, oh yes. I've got it, I've got it. Carabao, maybe? Buffalo, buffalo. I have no words. It's got buffaloes on it. I never thought I would need fabric with buffaloes on it, but I'm looking at this thinking it's cute. Now, I'll tell you where you might use this. An eye spy quilt. An eye spy quilt. Eye spy quilts have. Actually, lots of the fabrics that we've got on this morning would be ace for that because they're pictorial. An eye spy quilt, you have a square or a rectangle or a diamond or hexagon, whatever, with a feature fabric in it. And you say to the kids, I spy with my life, can you find the buffalo? And they have to look all over the quilt and try and find the fabric with the buffaloes on. That's what we were playing, weren't we, a moment ago? Find the fabric with the buffaloes on. What? What? Uh, three forty-nine. Oh my goodness! Three pound forty-nine. Absolute bargain. That's for half a meter. Hundred percent cotton. Oh yeah, line a bag with buffaloes. 
do it do it for me love that okay what's next yes passion fruit passion fruit these ones yeah purple or yellow yellow here we go beautiful love that soft lemon yellow what's our price should be 6.99 a half meter but not today mm. 3.99 3.99 now what about a shopping bag shopping bags and produce bags what about a beach bag that would be cool really nice what about shorts for the beach a little bit fruity be feeling like something fruity i'll be honest with you there isn't a day goes by that i don't feel like something fruity gorgeous i love the color too isn't it sweet it is a lovely color yeah lemon curd mixed with cream in a in a pavlova with passion fruit puree drizzled over the top and raspberries that is the breakfast of champions <laughs> now i've also got this fabric in a gorgeous purple lilac combo which again is rather summery and fresh and gorgeous remember if you've already checked out on any of these fabrics you'll pay the lowest price we'll always honor the lowest price 3.99 for a half meter for that keep refreshing as well won't you because you may spot something um, that you hadn't seen before right moving on so many fabrics to get through what's next hannah coffee cups coffee cups coffee cups this actually is really super cute i like this now i'm thinking mug rugs uh mug cozies cafetiere cozies really cool like that you could make maybe if you buy a lot of uh takeaway coffee you can make little holders for them or bags to carry your coffees to work or home you might just know somebody who really loves their coffee that you could make a little cushion or a reading pillow um, using this fabric that would be fun it would also go really well in your ice by quilt four pounds and 49 pence per half meter Steph says my tote bags are using fruity fabrics and planes I will send you a pic yes please yes please love that yeah theme them theme them yeah I've got another panel with flowers um yeah got that so next up another panel again great resource for practicing your quilting also a great resource for you know quick gifts gift bags little quick gift cushions you could make a quick wall hanging out of this they're all kind of stamps aren't they on this you've got the tulip you've got home sweet home that would be lovely to make into a little um, new home gift love lives here it's already a fab price at 10.99 but it's on clearance we've got a couple of butterflies what are we going to 5.99 that's ace really good value also this lovely one up the top the vase of flowers now these would be super to use in the center of a wall hanging so go to your scraps find all the colors that go with that's your center do some piecing or some borders around the outside and maybe love at the bottom something like that into your border you've got a perfect wall hanging there really good price for 5.99 really good price you can also use panels as backing fabrics for small quilts they look really cool on the back of a quilt to use a panel and you could even use some of the shapes there for your quilting and actually quilt it from the back okay next up little tiny fruit little tiny fruit is it this ah lewis and irene i've got that three of them 
Now, Steph, I'm thinking these would be perfect for your market tote bags. Mix these with your solids. These would be perfect. Should we do the yellow first? Right, so this is Lewis and Irene. A play mat would be really cute for a toddler. Very nice. Or again, your ice by quilt. You could also, I'll tell you what would be nice, to use these individual fruits to fussy cut and cover buttons. Could you imagine those? Little cherries, toddler dungarees would be super cute in this. Three ninety nine for a half metre, absolute bargain. Bucket hats for the beach. What about a little, a little rucksack or a picnic bag, lunch bags, anything like that. Three ninety nine, hundred percent cotton. It's Lewis and Irene. We know the quality is fabulous absolutely gorgeous that's a sort of almost like a um, chartreuse background it's it's somewhere between a golden and a green lots and lots of colors there that you could pull out grab your scraps grab your fat quarters and create a bigger project very very nice now we've also got that on a black background same price same price fabulous so I love black and bright colours, they really pop. Scrunches, hairbands. I was thinking, um, again, PJ Bottoms would be cute in that. Yeah, you could really play with the fabric. Um, it's a great price, isn't it? Three pounds, 99 a half metre. Love that really cute what about jam pot covers as well tis the season to be making jam isn't it well yeah well we're getting there definitely strawberries raspberries gooseberry jam very nice lemon curd orange curd beautiful last one is in peach a peach background um, if you've got my Bags for Life book, the um, produce bags, they're made using cheesecloth, so it's really light, but then a fabric along the bottom just to create a nice strong base and a little channel around the top to put cord through in a cord lock, um, just to pretty it up and add a bit of strength. This would be gorgeous for that. A lot of supermarkets now don't have plastic bags for produce, do they? You have to, and if you have to buy them, they cost a fortune. Yeah, I was horrified at how much they were charging, but so I just put them in my in my trolley, you know. But then everything's rattling around. <laughs> like that, though, very nice. Now, wine barrels. This is a Dan Morris, isn't it? Digital print, um, I think I would make two or three wine bags, gift bags, just long thin tote bags basically with a boxed bottom and a little handle at the top for gifting a bottle of wine. 3 99 for half a metre, you could get at least two if not three out of one half metre for that overlock your seams inside or French seam it and then you haven't got to line it and a quick gift bag very nice Merlot Mal is a Malbec oh Malbec Muscat Cabernet Cabernet Sauvignon Pinot Noir Pinot Noir I like a Pinot Noir I like a Syrah or a Malbec I do like a red wine you like a Shiraz cheeky Chardonnay um it's cool can't drink white wine, it gives me terrible indigestion. It does. Champagne is the worst. I know, I know. How do I function? This next one, oh, I'll tell you how I function. Donuts. Love, love, love this fabric. Is this in clearance? Should be six ninety nine. This is Lewis Nyrin. Ah, Lewis Nyrin, gorgeous. Three ninety nine love a donut um this would be there's so many things you could use this for uh i'm thinking things like a tea set placemats coffee cafetiere cover shopping bags pjs reading pillow as well would be nice done in this 
Well, exactly. Who doesn't like to read a book and eat a donut at the same time? Small things, sweet. Very, very cute. Chicks and chickens. Oh, yeah. A couple of my hens are very broody at the moment. They are. They want to be mummies. We had a point where it wasn't successful, unfortunately, but all of the chickens had decided to lay all their eggs in a tractor tire so they'd made a big nest and then they'd laid i think it was 32 eggs in a tractor tire and it started off with one of them sitting on it and by the end of the week there were three of them and they were sharing the same nest to cover that many eggs all sitting there and they were all very calm they were just nothing to see here just sitting here keeping the yeah and um i said well we'll have to get let them give it a go you know who knows but um yeah it wasn't successful they really can't incubate like that anyway but um yeah they've definitely given me the message they want some chicks and here they are chickens and chicks very very cute <clears throat> very very cute again put this in your eye spy quilt Four ninety nine the price for half a meter. Again, backing fabrics. These are Wyndham fabrics. Um, uh, yeah, little school bag would be cute. You could make really nice um, quilted pouches. Yeah, it'd be nice if you were getting ready. Yeah, if you were a teacher for any classroom. That would be cute. Yeah, yeah. Where next? Yes. Yes. We do. Right, Sashko panels. Uh, all individual. Should we do the reds? Mm-hmm. So ending 9-2, so these are Sashko coasters. So each of the coasters measures, um, well, the whole panel is 13 and three quarters by 18 and a half. So the coaster size is four and three quarters by four and three quarters. You get six of them. All pre-printed and you just, you know stitch over it with sashko thread you can layer it up with batting as well and then quilt through uh 11.99 11.99 for that now we've also got ending eight zero again these sashko different six different designs these will go beautifully with the previous ones you can mix and match um you can make them up into a quilt if you want to, or a wall hanging. You can add sashing and borders. The price is crashing to eleven ninety nine. So those are that lovely brick red, beautiful colour that. We've also got some in a grey. I've got part two, three and four. Yes, yes. So this one first so um all pre-printed so you don't have to start marking the designs they're printed on the fabric and it washes out so it's water soluble ink and you can use sashko thread or you can use embroidery floss if you prefer um, don't pre-wash these otherwise you just end up with plain fabric don't do that those are the designs then um, another six designs, all going to eleven ninety nine. These. So this is the Sashko coaster on grey part two, and there's a mixture of, sort of geometric designs. Sometimes they're a bit pictorial. These would be really nice actually to stitch up, and then you could use them to make up into a Japanese rice bag. You need five squares for that. So you could have one spare square that you could maybe make a mug coaster out of. 
And then our last one is very pictorial. It's got bunnies and a cat. It's got blossoms, dragonflies, really lovely. And again, price crashing from 19.99, you save seven pounds. You're paying 12.99 for these, 11.99. So that's eight pounds saving. Whew. Awesome, 11.99, sorry. Very good. Now then, Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Two different options here. These are Harry Potter bobbleheads. Let's start off with the aqua. Aqua. Now, let's see if I can name the characters. Um, official fabrics, these. We've got Luna Lovegood. We've got Ginny Weasley. And we've got Hermione Granger. It's all the girls three pounds and 99 pence per half meter i'm thinking book pillows reading pillows particularly make and sell oh don't know if you can because it's licensed ah making gift making gift but still everybody loves a bit of harry potter gorgeous and then i've also got um on a deep red love the background to this as well we've got harry potter we've got ginny weasley no we haven't got ginny weasley we've got ron weasley we've got hermione granger and we've got draco malfoy potter 3.99 half meter it was good wasn't it what is it? Ginger hair and hand-me-down robes must be a Weasley. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Is it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's got it. Yeah. Pretty. That would be lovely to make a sundress, little girl sundress. This is Moda. Should be 749 a half meter. It's in our sale. It's clearance fabric. What's the price on this, Hannah? Four pounds forty-nine for a half meter. Now you could make a lovely sundress. So join the whole thing in with with a French seam down one end. Hem the bottom, hem the top shearing elastic do about nine rows of shearing across the top add some little spaghetti straps gorgeous little sundress you could make that from half a meter next one got it oh yeah jenny jackson was all over this one well that's really cool it's got like knitting charts on it or cross stitch chart something like that that would be really lovely to make a sewing bag or a knitting bag i think wouldn't it actually you could make something like a knitting needle bag jenny jackson's got a pattern coming up uh, at 11 o'clock let's go super low 6.49 not today two pounds 99 that's our best bargain of the day isn't it that's fab so far anyway fabulous okay yes this is a pretty one can't believe this is in clearance this is a lovely fabric again 100 percent cotton all of them quilt weight cotton yeah it's just a lovely fabric would mix really well with um liberty prints 3.99 for that yep yeah is it this one the cotton canvas yeah cotton canvas cotton canvas this one so brilliant for bag making home deck you're going to get a great deal you're going to get a great deal on that because it doesn't say that it is a cotton canvas on our details so it's only 649 but it's going in the price it's 140 wide so extra wide as well 
Oh, this is the buy for the hour, 399 for a half meter. Now check this out, look, there's the width on it. That's your width. So is it what, 54 wide? Uh, absolutely gorgeous print. And that would be perfect for things like bag making, upholstery, curtains, blinds. 399 and a half meter. It's beautiful. Absolutely, real bargain this. Yeah, it's kind of a mistake, isn't it? Let's be honest, because it is a cotton canvas. So it should be a lot more than that. Grab that one while you can. 399 very good now then let's do something completely different actually that would tone really nicely with that i'm going to keep that here because i've got a gray design roll so this is 12 strips 10 10 strips uh two and a half inches wide by i think they're 54 they're longer than normal they're longer than normal. You've got white, light gray, mid gray, dark gray, black. 999. 140. Yeah. Thanks, Kat. 999 for those. We'll go really nicely with that. You could do, if you get Jenny Jackson's um epp poof you could actually make it out of this fabric and you could strip piece the sides nice um we started with some tilde didn't we we started with tilde and you're saving 25 percent on the price should be 19.99 you're paying 14.99 14.99 that's fab um <clears throat> the other fabrics that we've got will crash during the break so have a look on the website but that is a real bargain because that's a recent range of tilde you've got 25% uh, off you're saving five pounds on that that is a real bargain well, they've all been fabulous bargains, haven't they um my own personal favorite that gorgeous cotton canvas bit of a mistake there but hey ah oh, that has sold out that has sold out mm. bro well well done you well done you uh we're gonna go for a break now when we come back i'm joined by the fabulous jenny jackson with june strip of the month see you in a mo stuck for ideas for the perfect gift why not get them a gift card you can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day.
Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. It's always, always an exciting day when Jenny Jackson's in the house. But today, you're bringing back a new strip of the month, Hi. which is June. Yes. Hey, Jenny. Hi. <laughs> We've all got very excited. Every month we look forward to you being here <laughs> to bring the next month. Loads of you have already gone onto the website and got your uh, strip of the month for June. Lots of you are excited and asking, can I get involved? How am I too late to start with January? You're not too late at all. This is a great hour to tune in because we're actually going to do 90 minutes, aren't we? Jenny. We are. We're doing a oh, we're yeah. doing a one and a half. We are. We're doing a one and a half with Jenny Jackson. So loads of time for Jenny. <laughs> Don't even know what that means. Um, really, really long strip. Um, we're going to have loads of demos and a chance to go through all of the previous months. So if you haven't started your Jenny Jackson uh, foundation paper piece strip of the month, you are not too late. Today is the day. We're going to start with June. It is June. We're going to start with blue, which is the colour, and it's the one hanging behind you, Jenny. Which strip yes, is indeed. it? What are we talking we about? We are here. The lightest strip on the blue quilt. Ooh, that's pretty. It is. That is the pretty. <clears throat> so we're actually at the halfway point. We are, aren't we? Are you keeping up at home? Don't worry if you're not. So the June strip of the month, it is the... Does that strip have a name? No. No. 
No, it's a well, that almost, ended quickly, didn't it's it? It's kind of like a kite. What a conversation stopper. <laughs> is that what does that block does that block have a name, Jenny? No. <laughs> it's kind of like a kite. Good. Yeah. Thank you. That's my pleasure. <laughs> well, to me it does look like a kite block. Split yeah. kite. Yeah. yeah. I think it's we'll gorgeous. Go with that. We'll go with that. Yeah. So we're moving on. <laughs> with your pack, you get the instruction pack. So with that, you get specific instructions for how to make up this month and this particular block. Each step of making up the June strip is explained in photographs, in words, in a dance routine that comes later. You also get your templates. Now, it's foundation paper pieced. This one, Jenny, it's two foundations that you make separately and join together. It is indeed. Should we be alarmed at that? Not that sounds at all. like an extra skill. No, we've already done one that you do similar. Awesome. And we're going to show you how oh, today. Oh, yes, we are. Uh, so you have a master copy. So don't use this one. It's on heavier paper. And it also says templates to photocopy. You've also got ready to use templates. Now, do I need to photocopy any of these or no, have I got enough for the whole strip? You have enough for the whole strip. Yay! So you worth doing an extra couple of copies maybe, well, just in case. The, well, you've, yeah, you've got the photocopy, the master template. So yeah. if anything goes wrong or you want to have a practice on some scrap fabric first, yeah, just pop another do another photocopy yeah. of one but good to know if you haven't got a printer or a photocopier or you don't have access to one it doesn't matter because you've got all of the foundations done for you love that so that's all of your instructions but then you also get all of your fabrics that you're going to need to sew the june uh, strip I'm gonna grab this out and Would show you. Would you like a hand? Yes, please. Happy. Come this way. I Thanks, am on Jenny. My way. Okay, great. So these are the strips, and what you've got there are ten fat eights. Yes, ten fat eights. That's fantastic value. Absolutely fantastic. And these are all the lights. Yes, it's definitely the lightest month. It's beautiful. I love the way actually that the whole quilt kind of ombres from dark through to light in the center and then back out again. Yeah, for the blue one, it mm. does look gorgeous. It's really beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. Um, thank you. Uh, absolutely. Hundreds of you have got in there early and already checked out your strips. Um, Jacqueline. Oh, do you mind just moving the screen, please, Kat? I can't. It's, it's behind the... Um, look odd great to see you both i will be away when jenny does the july strip can i order it when jenny is back in august thank you yeah jacqueline don't worry at all we'll have plenty of stock we can do that can't we, we jenny? always order more if anything any of them runs out so it's fine. Awesome. Yeah. So you enjoy your, I'm hoping it's a holiday, enjoy your holiday. Carol's been, got in touch too to say, hey, I messed up January strip. Do you have more please? Carol in Coventry. Yes, relax. It's absolutely fine. We've got those on, on the show. If you go onto the website now, Carol, you can actually get the January strip of the month. Now, um, we're also going to be going through it this hour. So yeah, no bother, no bother. Um, so that's the blue. You get your fabric, you get all of your patterns and your foundations. Lots of you are doing the pastel version and I've got the pastel version up next. So same pattern and foundations. Jenny, I need you. Well over a hundred of these gone on pre-order. There we go. Such so tell me about this colourway. Oh, this is just so patchworky if that makes sense mm -hmm. because it's not ombre at all. It's just proper patchwork yeah i'm loving it i'm making it as we go so that i can show everyone gorgeous and i'm loving it yeah it is really pretty pastel lovely kind of soft almost some kind of ice cream colors yeah. or yeah, sugared almond colors yeah yeah really really pretty ice gems, ice gems. i can't <sighs> eat those i value Why? my teeth too much i can't afford the dental bills it's they're so hard the icing <laughs> I'd crunch on it and I'd think, that's not a nice gem, that's a molar. <laughs> <laughs> Nasty, but beautiful, beautiful fabric. 100% cotton, 
uh, exclusive to us here at Sewing Street. That's the pastel patchworky, gorgeous floral version of Jenny's strip of the month. Uh, it is June. Uh, we were saying earlier on, weren't we, Jenny? We love the fact that you started in January yep. because it's the sixth <laughs> strip. It's June. It's easy. We'll finish in December. We will indeed. Absolutely awesome. Um, are many of you keeping this back until you've got them all? Are you keeping up month to month? Get in touch. I know Jenny and I would both love to know how are you doing your strip of the month and how are you getting on with it? Jenny, can we do a demo? Please? Yeah, I've got the... Um the pastel version so far so people can see what the pastel is looking like i might need you to come and hold it up of course i will if i thought i'd make one this more. as we go so people can see exactly how the pastel is looking so i've just added the last Ooh, month oh it's looking gorgeous it's so pretty so every month i'm adding a row to it as mm. i as i do it Mm. And I am absolutely loving this now. Yeah. It's coming together. Do you see what I mean by patchworking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. It's that real traditional out of the attic yeah. heirloom. Yeah, quilt. it really is. Yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous, Jenny. So you've done your row. You're feeling smug. You've done your June. You're ready. Yep. Well, help us all out. Show us what we need Indeed. to do. <laughs> Right, so yes, this month is made from two pieces. Mm -hmm. We've got part A and part B. I've already just cut them out. So you cut them out just outside the dashed line, like usual. Mm -hmm. So you don't you don't cut out on the dashed line at this point? No, I cut out just beyond it, because then okay. you know if your fabric's definitely covering your paper, mm -hmm. you're good. Great, You cool. are fine. Okay. So it's just a confidence thing. So this is the block when it's finished. I've made one blue one just to show you. Mm -hmm. So I chose to do the outside two large uh, triangles, the same fabric. On the sample behind me, they've used it's i say they <laughs> we because what we, we graphic go over <laughs> the graphics um they've used like one next to each other but on mm -hmm. the separate blocks if mm -hmm. that makes sense so yeah. those two are two different blocks so they've used the same on the bottom and then the same on the top but yeah. i decided to do it like this because i yeah. like the way it was looking yeah there's all sorts of different ways you can use your yes. fabrics aren't there so i would just say once you've cut everything i say in the pattern group them mm -hmm and then sew all the single blocks together and then put it underneath your previous strip mm -hmm. and decide where you want to place them before mm. you sew them together. Mm. So this block is rotated so that they point, uh, face each other, the small triangles. Mm -hmm. So you, when you're sewing them together, you just have to rotate one block. Oh, you don't have to make an A and a B block? No, no, Perfect. you can just rotate them. It's easier okay. that way. Right, so fabric question I get asked all the time Jenny with foundation paper piecing is um, do are there any tips or how do I know what size piece of fabric to cut for each so patch? I have it all written oh you do <laughs> yeah oh. I tell everyone so like for this one example I think a1 and a4 your, I give you a rectangle mm -hmm. and then you cut it on the diagonal. Okay. And I say what size. And then A2, I give you the size. A3, I give you the size. Oh, brilliant. Just to make it nice and easy. And I do tend to go bigger mm -hmm. so that you don't have to worry. It's not going to cover Great. the, um, oh, the thing. Oh, fabulous. Yeah. I like to make it easy. The whole point of this was to get people into FPP. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. People who'd never done it before but wanted to. And it seems to have worked. I know loads of people who are doing it that have never done it before because they didn't understand it. Mm -hmm. And now they're whizzing away. And also as well, you've designed this so that you start with the most simple foundation piece That block. was the easiest, yeah. And you sort of get a little, you build your skills as you go. You do. And then you go back for relief, like easy. Like this one mm -hmm. was very easy. Mm -hmm. That one was harder than that one. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so some of them I think, yeah, some of them are easier, but nothing's none of them are really hard. No, no, at not all. at all. And you come away with it with a beautiful quilt. It's manageable because you're working on one row each month. Yeah. And, and then at the end of it, you feel more skilled. You've got yeah. a lovely quilt. And I'm using large pieces of fabric as well. Great. You still don't waste much, but just helps your confidence. There's nothing worse than cutting fabric and not fitting because it just well, makes that's you the feel, real waste. Oh. Isn't yeah. It? yeah, it just makes you feel sad. Yeah, of course it does. Right, so what I always do is I pre-fold my templates on all the lines that I'm going to sew along because it just makes it easier in later stages if you already have those pre-folded.
three folds. So we're going to do this whole block. Just going to grab me pins. Quite organised today. Very organised. I know, usually I'm like, forgot my pins, can you buy me some pins? Remembered them all. Right, so we're starting on A1. So you want to put your wrong side of fabric to the wrong side of the template. Mm -hmm. So the template that has no printing on it. And I want this one for that. Yep. Just so it covers. So don't expect your triangle to go where you've cut on the diagonal because it won't fit. Mm -hmm. You want to use the s straight edge as mm -hmm. such, not mm -hmm. the one on the diagonal. So you just play around and you'll find out which line you want to do. So then I just check that it's completely covering A1 mm -hmm. and at least quarter of an inch beyond the line I'm going to sew along. So as you can see, plenty bigger now. Mm. And when you're doing foundation paper piecing, do you need to worry about the grain line of fabric? I know in patchwork no, we often worry no. about bias fabric and... I just never do. No. No matter what patchwork I'm doing. Fair I'm enough. Like, it's fine. Yeah. If it's really stretchy, then starch it. But the panel fabric is so great. Yeah, it's so finely woven, yeah. isn't it? I think I said last time, um, I'd never done FPP with the panel fabric before mm -hmm. until this project. Mm -hmm. And now I love it. It's a dream. What yeah. have you been up to? You've got glitter all over your oh, face. Oh, if I've got glitter. <laughs> I've had a spill. Red glitter. Red glitter. I had a spill. And I keep on, I think I've got it all <laughs> off. And then I haven't. There's tons. <laughs> is there oh no well it's deliberate it's Jenny I like to get my glitter on <laughs> uh, I mean don't ask what the why I'd got red glitter <laughs> in the first place exactly mm. it's how I roll Jenny <laughs> it's how I roll I think life is better with glitter don't you don't you I love glitter but I just don't like there's that glitter that place. comes off everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, there's a time and I place. love glitter that doesn't come off on things. Yeah. Like glittery clothes that don't <laughs> shed glitter. Basically, you don't like this. Jennifer says, Morning, Stuart and Jenny. Have struggled with learning foundation paper piecing for years, but I'm loving doing Jenny's blue quilt and finally get it. Thanks, yes. Jenny. Awesome. Mission complete. That is what we want. Oh, I'm so glad you've understood it now. Brilliant. Right, so I've attached the fabric just with some pins and mm -hmm. then I'm gonna fold my template over on the line between A1 and A2, like this. Get my add a quarter ruler and just put it up against the fold of the paper and trim off that excess bit of fabric. Mm -hmm. So you've left quarter of an inch quarter of your fabric of an inch hanging of fabric over. There. So then we're going to open that template up again, fold it open, get the next piece of fabric. And we're going to line it up with the fabric that we just cut, mm -hmm. or with the bit that we just trimmed down. And then you want to just check, double check, you've got it right, right sides together for the fabric fold it over and just check it's going to cover which it is mm -hmm. so now you can either pin this in place or hold it in place it's mm -hmm. totally up to you take it over to the machine use a 1.2 stitch length you want it tiny mm. so it doesn't come undone easily but also so the paper tears mm -hmm. okay and start just before the line that you're going to sew onto and go off the end slightly just a few stitches okay tiny stitches so about three or four stitches beyond the line and go all the way along Jenny can I ask any recommendations on the foot that we use on our sewing machine for FPP I just use my normal foot just the regular foot yeah yeah okay. I wouldn't use a quarter inch one because they tend to have that little dip mm. don't they down the side yeah they do and it might just or a go, lip. yeah and it might it will go on top of the paper then mm. and it might just score the paper slightly mm. so if it's a bit sharp yeah you don't want it ripping so I just use my normal foot and cool. keep my needle at the center position center needle yeah so we've just gone there and there beyond started end flip it over it's all about the flipping flip that fabric open because it was like this mm -hmm. so you're going to flip it over and just use a seam roller 
along those seams. There's no need to iron it, but do seam roll it. You can iron it, make sure the iron's dry. Mm -hmm. Oh really, why, why would you Only use a dry iron? Because the steam's gonna mess with the paper. Oh. You get soggy paper. Yep. You don't need soggy Good paper. Good point, who needs that? No Not me. Needs that. So, <laughs> right, so that's all seamed nicely. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna flip it over again. And now we're gonna fold on the line between A2 and A3. So, cause I've already pre-folded those lines. Mm -hmm. It's so much easier than trying to mm. then fold it. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna use our add a quarter ruler again, place it against that fold in the paper and trim off that excess fabric. Then open the paper out and flip over. Get the next piece of fabric. And just deciding which way is more comfortable to do this. And line it up along where you've just trimmed the fabric. Fold over to check it's going to fit. And when you say you're checking to see it's fitting, what, what are you trying to fit the fabric to? So you need to make sure it covers the whole of A3. So this is another reason why I score, like I fold the lines right. first. Because if you're working on a surface, you might, might not be able to see the printed line mm -hmm. easily, but you can clearly see that fold. So it's got to cover that fold. Yeah, so even, the fab even though the fabric's big enough because I've given you the measurements, you just want to make sure you've lined it up well, because mm -hmm. if you did that, you would have the end bit missing there. Understood, and I've done that. Oh, it's so I've annoying, isn't that. it? It's or you really... have cut the fabric too And small. it's a quarter of an inch. Yeah. It's a tiny bit, but it's yeah. no good. Or well, you've done a triangle and it's gone the wrong way when you yeah. flipped it over, because in your mind, your mind was working back to front. Exactly. The worst. Exactly, the <laughs> worst. <laughs> the worst, because we always say, no one wants to unpick 1.2. I was just going to ask you, if you do have to unpick... You can. Found it, just be careful, unpick and get it. Take yeah. your time and try not to rip. Just really be careful and unpick. Yeah. If, if your paper does rip, you can usually, it usually won't rip completely apart. Mm. So you can just follow the line you sewed mm. before when it went wrong. But yeah, yeah. Just, that's why I always say, even if you're confident, because I'm really confident in this, I still always double check. Yeah, every time. Yeah, before I sew. It's just not worth it, is oh, it? It's so not worth it. Takes a it. second. And it's always right sides together with your fabric as mm -hmm. well. So I'm just gonna hold that in place. I remember once many years ago doing a Carol Doak was a foundation piece star. Yes. And I think that the unit I was working on had something like 63 pieces in it. And I think I got to about piece number 59 and then looked back and realized that piece number seven was a quarter of an inch too short. So I'd done it and it, it took about Oh, I don't know, an hour and a half per foundation. Oh, to no. It was like, and there's no way back. Hi, lovelies, says Brian E. What a great way oh. to spend a Sunday morning with you. Loving your show. Oh, hi, Brian E. Brian E keeps an eye on my Facebook page, the uh, cool. Scrappy Hexy Fun ah. Group. Yeah, Brian E and Kim. That's cool. They're like my version of Deputy Joan. Yeah. Apart from they don't do the sewing, but they oh. do, they keep an eye on the group because we live opposite ends. Do they have deputy badges? Because Deputy Joan does. Oh, I totally need to she get She's like a sheriff's badge. She truly does. She truly does. She truly does. You need to get her that. Totally yeah. Do. Yeah. Um, just to let you know, the only way that you can buy this strip of the month is either with fabric blue or with fabric. Uh, patchwork, traditional patchwork, yes. florals. And only on Sewing Street as well. And you only can't on get Sewing it from Street. Me yet. Yeah. So no pattern on its own. It comes in either the blue version or. Now, of course, once you've made your blue version or your floral version, you will have the master copies of all of the patterns. Yeah. So you can make a scrappy version. You can make a scrappy version. You can use the blocks alone. Mm -hmm. They're all the same width, there's mm -hmm. only different heights. Mm -hmm. You can shrink. The template down. Nice. By photocopying it, you can use it for uh, the blocks for borders yep. around another quill. Mm. You can use it for bags, mm. just like a nice statement block or mm. a few blocks. There's so much you can do because they're really pretty bo blocks individually yeah, as well. Yeah, they are. They're gorgeous. So, it's, yeah. a, it's like a, um, a resource, isn't it? It's like a library. Yeah, exactly. You're going to have so much you can carry on doing with mm. these. Mm. Fab. So yeah, and I can't wait. In a couple of months, we've got the heart. Well, the I hearts are cute, yeah. really cute. 
Right, so I just sewed between lines A2 and A3. So we're gonna flip it over, fold that fabric over, and use the seam roller along that seam. Have we got the seam roller? Ah, we have got a seam roller. Ah, ours is red. Yeah, yeah, pink. they're all yeah, they're all yeah, different colours. Yeah, they all do the same job, don't they? It's orange. There we go. Got the details. Orange, I suppose. Yes, yes. Well, pinky orange. <laughs> now we're going to fold between A three and A four. Fab. And trim off that excess fabric by putting the quarter inch ruler against the fold in the paper. You'd like yourself a nice red seam roller like that. I would, but yeah. they weren't available when I got mine. Oh, so, you say. should have waited. Need to upgrade. By a regret, that I like is. I blue one as well that we used to have here. It's the oh, same yeah. make, it's yeah. just they've changed the colour to red now, haven't yeah. they? Yeah, yeah. Red for danger. Indeed. Like my <laughs> glitter. <laughs> right, so we've just opened the paper up again, and now we're going to add the fabric for A4. This time, if you've noticed, that's the diagonal cut I made in the first mm -hmm. fabric. So that is going to be along there mm -hmm. so that it folds across. I just yeah. don't want you to think it's not going to fit. You just have to, on one of the mm -hmm. pieces, line up the straight line. Mm -hmm. It just actually saves more fabric and it's easier to get ac more accurate than if I started giving you triangular measurements. Oh, for sure. No one, do you one wants no one to do needs that. to be doing that. No one. <laughs> There we go. So I've placed this on here again. I'm always going to flip it to make sure I've got it in the correct mm -hmm. position. Yep. Hold on to that piece and sew between lines A3 and A4 and always starting a few stitches before and ending a few after. Fabulous. Thank you. Now Jenny's working on the June strip of her strip of the month quilt. Um, we'll put the details for the blue on screen. The blue quilt's hanging behind me. It's this row right here, the palest. It's like a half kite, or a kite in fact. It's like a kite, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see that. See, that's a really nice block to put four together to make a star oh, as well. as. or you could actually do them as kites mm -hmm. and embroider tails oh, coming off them. Gorgeous. And little bows down yeah. the tails and stuff. Love that. Love that idea. Let's make that. $19.99. Now for that, you get your pattern, you get all of your foundations that you need, and they've all been printed for you, all the ones that you need, plus a master copy, and the master copy is on a thicker, heavier weight paper, so that you can keep that one as a resource. So that's our blue version. We've also got a pastel version. Jenny, do you mind oh, just yeah, grabbing that? Yeah, of course I can. Just show that again. Um, so this is, Where are we? we'll swap that around, there we go, there, we go. Uh, there yeah. that's it. So this is the pastel version, we'll give you the details for that, they're on screen now. So that is all those lovely pastel pinks, yellows, blues, greens, really, really pretty. And as you said, like real traditional patchwork, yeah. Yeah. gorgeous. And it's this bottom strip yeah. that we're doing today. So that's June. Now we have got, oh, excuse me, we have got all of the previous months available. This hour is, an hour, is actually an hour and a half. It is indeed. <coughs> excuse me. Um, so we'll be going through all of the previous strips as well in, in just a moment. So if you haven't yet got your January through to May yet, don't worry, there is still time. Indeed there is. Right, so we've done the, uh, sewn that line. So we're just gonna open that up flip the fabric over, seam roll, and then that is part A, complete, for adding fabric. So I'm just gonna take those pins out now, because I don't need them. And I'm just gonna trim this off before I start part B. So what's really important when you're trimming is that you line up your quarter inch mark on the solid outside line. Don't line it up on the, um, the dash line, mm -hmm. because every ruler, is different. Mm -hmm. So my printed quarter inch seam, your mm -hmm. ruler might be slightly bigger or slightly mm -hmm. smaller. So so long as you line up your quarter inch mark on your ruler with the 
solid line, mm -hmm. then all your blocks are going to be have the same seam allowance. Gotcha. Whereas it's quite hard to line up on the dash line. Mm. Does that make sense? So yeah. I say it's very important to always do that. Yeah, so even though the quarter of inch seam allowance is marked on your foundation with that dotted line, yeah. kind of ignore that, yeah. measure out from the black line, exactly. cut your own. Yeah. Some patterns don't even come with that dash line. Mm. For me, I like to use it as reference for you guys to make sure your fabric is definitely over mm. that mm. dashed line. Mm. Because, like we said, if it's too small. Oh, absolutely. And I have had that occasionally in classes where someone will trim their foundation back to the black line. Yeah. And then you have to start again. Exactly. So You've got to leave that seam allowance. It's just a handy reference, I find. Mm. I prefer it when patterns have that on. Mm -hmm. Me too. Because absolutely. you're right, it's really easy just to trim off on the actual line. Yeah. So you, and then everything, you would have to do all of it like that. The whole it would thing be again. smaller. Yeah, no good, no good. You'd have to start again, wouldn't <laughs> yeah, you? Yeah, you would. Can I ask actually, Jenny, is there any room for mistakes in terms of the fabric? Do we have a little extra? Yeah. If we if we messed up one block, yes. would we still have enough? Yeah, yeah. I've, um, I've not run out of any fabric any of them yet mm. and I've made a couple of mistakes because obviously I use that fabric when I'm planning mm -hmm. and I've still been able to cool to use them without needing another because nobody's perfect not at all it's when you plan it and <laughs> like I did the one of them and I, I was 100% sure it was fine yeah, yeah, yeah printed it off did it and then I really remembered that it needed flipping oh so it's back to front basically right, but it was fine gotcha. i yeah. just went on the computer altered it and then redid it but I, I have plenty of fabric to do that you know you could keep all the fabric scraps to add a scrappy binding sew them mm -hmm. all together mm -hmm. a lady did um, ask me and i can't remember if i replied the white bit around the on the panel mm -hmm. the white fabric there's just the yeah. spare edge. yeah yeah you could use that for the binding she asked yeah, me you if could. you could you could just mm -hmm only needs to be two and a half or two and a quarter inch wide mm -hmm. and you can sew the strips together yep so if you cut it carefully you could also use the white and we're only halfway through so if you haven't saved your white yet and you've thrown it away and you think it's a good idea you will have enough if you start mm. saving it now because there's still six seven panels mm -hmm. included in this month isn't mm -hmm. there yeah, so even if you've discarded the rest yeah. keep saving now you'd You'll have, have enough. enough that's a great idea i like that the lady that suggested it. One of our viewers has emailed in saying she's saving up all of the months. Here we go from oh. Karen. Hi, she both. Just got the June pastel one to add to the others. I'm waiting till I retire next month <gasps> to begin. Love, Karen. Oh, when are we retiring? Congratulations. Oh, never. Congratulations, <laughs> Karen. Oh, what a project. That's going to be brilliant. Yeah, fabulous. Oh, you're going to have a good first few months, aren't it's you? It's really nice. It's really nice. Yeah, just to settle yourself in. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Perfect. Right, so I've cut out part A now. Yep. So that is complete. Are we allowed to see it from the front yet or not? Oh, nice. There you go. Yeah. Cool. Looks like looks like a jewel, doesn't it? It does. You know what I mean? Like like a, mm. Very nice. Yeah, diamonds are a girl's best friend. <laughs> and so, a boy's. Yeah, um, indeed it is. I mean, I always say, you know, I love handmade presents unless I'm talking to my husband, in which case I really like bought presents and particularly diamonds. bought from jewellers. <laughs> Brilliant. Part B. So part B only has to only has b1 and b2 so we're gonna just fold that line the sewing line for yep. reference then we're gonna get wrong side of fabric to the wrong side of the template and put b1 make sure it's all covered which it is yeah like i said sometimes it's easier as well if you just get a bit muddled is once you've done a block, uh, once you've grouped your fabrics together for one block, mm -hmm. you can always just use like reusable little sticky notes to write, to just pop B1, mm. clip it on there, B2, mm. so you don't have to keep measuring it if you can't remember. Yeah, for sure. After you've done nine, you tend to remember what the sizes look like. But I always say that. But definitely group your fabrics, because also, so I've used these two the same. Mm -hmm. And then I want to make sure the other fabrics I'm using within this group are different prints. Yeah. That's yeah. just how I like it. Yeah. So I always say group cut everything. <clears throat> mm -hmm. 
and then group them in groups and then you can swap them over mm. if you're like oh no that one's already got that print in yeah yeah understood Are you with you want to spread the fabrics out across spread the whole out. strip indeed <laughs> Stop it. right <laughs> i folded the template over mm -hmm. and we're gonna cut off that extra fabric leaving the quarter inch <coughs> i would say add a quarter inch rulers are really the go-to for it we love them you can do it with a normal ruler of course you can you just have to press down harder don't you to make yeah. sure your your ruler doesn't slip but it's not going to move with this because of the if you haven't seen them before it has that little every time i'm on here i can't remember the word lip, lip the little lip that you just pop against that mm. fold and the thing is, over the course of making the whole quilt, you're going to use that Constantly. hundreds of times, <laughs> yeah. and it's pennies, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, really. yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, the amount you're going to use it. Yeah, I use the small one or the larger one. I have both. Because as well, everyone's going to be hooked, aren't they? Yeah. Everyone's going to be hooked on foundation yeah. piecing at yeah. the end of this. And, and, you know, people who have said they, they don't want to do it because their first experience was awful. So was mine. Yeah. Was My it? kingfisher ended up with two beaks and we don't know how. Oh. I know I was at a sewing retreat and I was doing it. And everyone was in hysterics. They were like, how? How did you do? It was the first time I'd done FPP and I did choose a really hard pattern, which is why this is so brilliant because it's really relaxing. I was just going to say though, but that's what a lot of us do, isn't it? As, yeah. as adults, especially. Yeah. We, we do know it's like when someone wants to learn to knit it's because they found a an Aran sweater it. pattern and that you they do see it. this fantastic yeah. complex FPP patterns mm -hmm. and you're like oh that's what FPP is I've got to yeah. do that yeah start start yeah. on blocks and then work your way up to those got a couple of questions why you oh, sew yeah. if you don't mind morning what a beautiful quilt can you tell me what the finished size will be please I've never done foundation paper piecing before but Jenny makes it look so easy oh bless you that's from Christine it is I will tell you in two it is easy though foundation paper piecing with the right pattern and the right instructor is easy that's there you are <laughs> there you are there it's I true am. though it is approximately eight and a half inches high by i think not I'm eight and a half 80 80 and a half tiny little quilt tiny it's a little miniature quilt. Eight, it's a miniature. 80 and a half by 54 and a half lovely yeah that's the approximate but it will only be within an inch or inch smaller or larger um have another question from Gillian. Hi Stuart and Jenny, uh, you're both looking well. Thank you. I have bought all the months but haven't started yet. Like it, like that method. Do you backstitch on the pieces? So at the start and the end yeah, of each seam? Not at all because you start before the line starts that you're gonna like so um, almost trace with your needle aren't you? Mm -hmm. And then you go beyond it. So those stitches because they're so teeny tiny. They're so tiny as well. They're enough to keep it in place. You do not need to backstitch because you're going to need to just fold those out. Yeah. No need. And, and also it's very difficult to backstitch exactly on the line. Oh, the yeah. And, it, and it's yeah. got to be, you know, perfect. So yeah. don't, don't do it. I would say four little stitches before. I counted when I was for the first time ever when I just did it now. And about four stitches afterwards. Nicola's got in touch from County Durham. Nicola says, I've never seen this quilt before, but I love the pastel version. Have bought the previous pattern kits. Oh, amazing. Nice. Enjoy. Well, actually, Nicola, it's a good a good day that you've done that, actually, because we're going to spend a bit of time, aren't we, going through each yeah. row. We'll show you the kit. We'll show you the patterns. We'll chat a little bit about yeah. the different patterns as well, won't we? Indeed, we will. So press record. Why not? Right, so what have I done? Where have I got to? I have trimmed off the excess fabric. Now we're flipping it over. And then fabrics, right sides together. And you just want to check, as always, that this is going to cover your B2. So perfect. I'm going to hold those together mm -hmm. and start, like we just said, a few stitches before your line yep. and go continue on a few stitches after. There we go. And that is fold your fabric over and seam roll it and that is basically part b done because mm -hmm. <laughs> it is just two pieces of fabric mm -hmm. 
Easy. Have you just ironed my block? I did. Was the crease in that fabric annoying you? No, no, no. I just, you know, I try and make myself helpful. Oh, you are. So I'm awful. Rest, start eating. I'm awful with crease fabric. <laughs> right. So now we're just going to trim off that excess fabric as well, lining up with the solid line mm -hmm. of the template. And then when you get to these little points, just pop your quarter inch right on that point of the solid line. So that's even trimming off the dog ears before we make yeah. them. Cool. Indeed, it is. Love the fact that in your pattern, you're getting all of your foundations already printed for you. So you do not need to photocopy anything before you start. You've got an extra thick, more robust foundation uh, template that you're going to keep. So that's your resource to keep and use forever more. You've also got full instructions and they're not just for generic how to foundation paper piece, which you could quite easily have got, couldn't you? You could quite easily have just put, you know this is how to foundation exactly. piece. Exactly, but you know what's funny? That didn't even cross my mind to no. do that, no. to just say this is how you found it and just copy it into each pattern. No. no. Because you want to teach people yeah, how to make every block. Exactly that, because yeah. they're all slightly different, you know. You and and, and you know, it. you are an encourager, you're a facilitator, you're a teacher. I am. And that's what you do. Profesh. There you go, professional. Thank you, darling. Caring. There we go. So that's part A and part B together. What do we do now? So now you want to sew them together. Mm -hmm. So it's always handy just to visualise it before you start sewing. So that and that. And you want this to attach to here, don't mm -hmm. you? So you just flip it over, line up, as you can see that bit that I cut at the point where I cut flat. Again, mm -hmm. just following those templates, cutting templates, they line up perfectly. Perfectly. Like this. So then you just wanna make sure that you've got those seams as well. You can have a bit of a wiggle just mm -hmm. to make sure, there we go. So now though, you want to sew, hang on, I'm bringing it back to show you. You want to sew from the very end all the way across the solid line and off the other end mm -hmm. for this one, okay? Because you are sewing the blocks fully together now. So not just a few stitches mm -hmm. before. You might as well sew all the way across. Mm -hmm. Again, following that printed black line. Following that printed black line. Gotcha. Did we have a message then? Thank you. Uh, good morning, this is Karen in West Yorkshire. I started buying the pastel blocks in January and then last month you had all the previous months in blue, so now I'm buying both. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Oh, <laughs> a lot of people are thanks, doing that actually. Karen. I've heard a couple two of people versions. on two mm. single quilts basically. Mm. Yeah, beautiful. They, they would suit very different people, wouldn't they? Completely. Same quilt, but so different. Christine's got in touch too to say, just wanted to say thank you to Jenny. Uh, you've given me the courage to try foundation paper piecing. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, yay. Just bought all the pastel months. I can't wait to start. Thank you. Oh, this makes my heart warm. Yeah, I love it. It's I'm awesome. so glad because. Yeah, I was absolutely terrified of FPP when I first started. It's such a Marmite technique. <sighs> it is, if you aren't taught, if you're trying to teach yourself. Yeah. It's really hard and I almost gave up after the Kingfisher yes, situation. Yes. I was like, no, <laughs> As this it's isn't known. me. I'm going back to hand sewing. Right. That's all I'm doing. And then I thought, no. I've got to get this. Mm -hmm. And then I ended up teaching it at Festival of Quilts for Sewing Quarter. Okay. Teaching FPP workshops. Right. And actually teaching it just made me fall in love with teaching it. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Love teaching Because you it. see that aha moment, don't you? Yeah. I always think with, oh, any, yes. with anything where, where people absolutely love it and are passionate about it, and then there are some people that hate it, I always think, the people that absolutely love it must know something I don't. Yeah. So they've either had a different teacher, tried a different technique, or that there's something. Yeah. And it gives such amazing results, even for total beginners, yeah. can make a block that's 100% perfect. Yeah, because you're First literally time. tracing the line with mm -hmm. your needle. Mm -hmm. There's no worrying about losing your points mm -hmm. because you're tracing the line with your needle. Yeah, yeah. So it Brilliant. helps you learn to sew straight as well. Yeah, it does. That is very true, actually. Sewing straight is not easy. That's very true. 
Right, so I've um, sewn all the way along and then I'm just gonna remove the um, paper from the seam allowance that we've just sewn. Okay. As you can see, because we're using zero at uh, 1.2, it tears away so nicely mm -hmm. and easily. So I do this so that when we start sewing blocks together, we're not getting as much paper caught underneath. So as we're gonna fold this over, right. that bit of paper will be caught but this paper's gone. Yes. So we're not gonna be trying to get rid of loads of paper. Got you. So you just wanna fold that out and press it. Mm -hmm. You can use a seam roller or a iron. And again, at this point, if your paper does start falling out, don't worry. Mm -hmm. Just make sure you use quarter of an inch. Yep. So when I said you've got to rotate the block so that you don't actually have to, if you prefer them all one way, Sew them all one way, facing the same way. Or sew half going this way, the other half pointing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But the way I've done it is all you need to do is literally, so this one, just flip it like that. Yep. So I always say, look at it before you sew it. And just check you've got them where you want. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna take this one on top of this one. And you're gonna sew them together and you're gonna line them up. You're gonna sew all the way from the top all the way off the bottom. Mm -hmm. You don't so need to worry like about So just like regular sewing stitching. two squares together. Exactly. You've still got that foundation paper in mm -hmm. there for now. Cool. See, I've used a different ruler to cut this one. And I think my quarter inch mark is just slightly different. Oh, okay. From the one that I did at home. Okay. You do have it's to funny, be- It's funny, isn't really it? Yeah, same with sewing machines. You've got yeah. a, although with this, of course, you're always sewing on a line, so yeah. the blocks always match. That's why foundation paper piecing is so good for a charity <laughs> quilt. Exactly. Every block's the same. Every block's the same, but I do tend to have a particular ruler next to my machine uh -huh. for foundation paper piecing, because yeah. then I just know that my quilt, because it's amazing, you can get two different, um, Tape measures completely yeah, out. Yeah, you can. Well, I think even the same person, it you you cut differently, rotary cut differently, whether oh, you're standing completely. up or sitting down, because of your vision and what you can see. Because because where you cut depends on how you hold your cutter. And you know what? I would have cut that other one sitting down. Mm because I would have been too lazy You hold your to hand differently. Up. So yeah. where I've, I've, I, I, I quite often show it in classes. Mm. I'll cut a strip of fabric and then I alter my position, my hand position as I'm cutting, cut again along the ruler and then show a slither of fabric, which mm. is the difference between ruler like a uh, blade like this and blade like this. That's really interesting because I definitely would have sat down to cut the one at home because mm. I... I'm not going to stand up just to cut it. No way. <laughs> Penny's got back in touch. Me again. I meant FPP. Love Penny. We knew what you meant, we my knew. lovely. We knew what you meant. You inspire a lot of people to try all sorts of different things. Foundation piecing, applique. You also inspire people to try English paper piecing. Oh, yeah. Angela's got in touch on Facebook to say, good morning to you both. You both look fantastically coordinated with the quilt behind you. Gorgeous, both of you. Thank oh, you, Angela. Oh, best nanny in the world, Angela. <laughs> Karen's got in touch to say, I'm buying the FPP Strip of the Month pastel kits, but saving them till I retire. Oh, sorry, love, you oh, sent yeah, that into me, yeah. Andon. Yes. Um, Catherine says, morning, everyone. Just awake. Bless you. It is Sunday. <laughs> it is. is Andon won't be watching. Uh, Glynis from East Riding's got in touch. This is a good question. Morning, does sewing through the paper blunten the needle more quickly as with scissors cutting paper? The blue version is so rich in colour. Oh. Really good question. I would say yes, it does blunt it mm -hmm. slightly, but mm -hmm. what you can do is keep that as your FPP needle. So just use it for your FPP. Uh -huh. And then if you're, unless you're only doing that, then keep it in there. It will be fine mm -hmm. for quite a long time. I do not change mine as much as I should. But I would say don't. How often, Jenny Jackson? As and when. <laughs> you mean when it breaks, Jenny Jackson, is what yeah. you're saying? No, I have actually got better. I have got better. Okay. And I've got better at cleaning my machine. What are we well. supposed to do, Jenny? How, how many times? How, how uh, often? How often is it? How many hours? Is it eight hours of sewing? So every six to eight. Six to eight. Every six to eight. And I always say if you're doing FPP or quilting, 
yeah. every six. Yeah. Because quilting blunts your needle yeah. faster because you're going through thicker layers Three, as well. Yeah. So every six hours for your needle. Yeah. Every six hours, Jenny. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> but I would say <laughs> if Promise you're split me. in between <laughs> projects, take your FPP needle out and it's put a, good a fresh idea. one in when you're if you're yeah. doing like really lovely piecing without going through the paper. Yeah. Do you do the same with your rotary cutter? Because obviously your rotary cutting through paper <laughs> yeah, and fabric. Yeah, I have two. You do? I have an FPP rotary mm -hmm. cutter and then I have a proper fabric, fabric only cool. rotary cutter because I'd be changing blades all the time. But yeah. this, this one is lasting forever as my FPP rotary cutter. Mm -hmm. If I then went to start cutting bolts, I would notice mm -hmm. that it mm -hmm. wasn't so smooth, but yeah. it's fine for it. Yeah. So I would say, if you've got a spare rotary cutter... Who's only it. got one? I know. <laughs> when you can't find it, you get another. Yeah, of Or when you, you see a new one come out in a new colour, and you're like, I quite like that one, exactly. I'm going to get that. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> right, so I've just sewn those two together, and I'm just going to remove from the seam I've just Ah, you sewn. do the same again, get yeah, rid of the... Yeah, so then when you start sewing your rows together, mm -hmm. you just have less. Gotcha. Annoying. So all these little tips, isn't out. it? They make all the difference. Yeah, and a bit wonky. Gone and you've really wonky. solved a lot of the issues that people have. If people don't like FPP, it tends to be for a few reasons, and one of them is not knowing how big to cut the fabric. Yeah. And it being all over the place or very wasteful, you've solved that problem. Um, building up your skills, you've solved that yeah. problem. You make everything really easy and achievable. That's the game plan, there you go, just checked and I did completely cut that outside the, um, like I didn't line it up with the line okay. so it's bigger. But so yeah, absolutely but you, can you see matching. that it matches, it's Incredible. just like me that's just cut it slightly wrong mm, there. Mm. So yeah, then you would just keep making them and it's just so pretty. That's it, just keep making them. Just keep making them. Repeat, and it's repeat, so, yeah, repeat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like I said, always group your fabrics first if you're very particular about where you want the fabrics. And then before you start sewing them in a row, get your previous month out and play where you want them, if you're fussy or just if you have an eye for things. So Jenny, question then, does that mean you'd recommend doing them in order, first of all? Yes. Definitely, because you build your skills. Yeah. But also join a whole row together. Yeah before you start on yeah because don't worry once you've joined it because each month yeah they're always going to go together nicely yeah the fabrics yeah but it just means you can play yeah so you can just make sure that maybe especially on the pastel one mm -hmm. maybe because there's a dark slightly like darker more obvious green mm -hmm. and the yellow mm -hmm. you might not want them all grouped together yeah you might want to spread those out within the row or yeah. the previous row so I would just always say that, just because yeah. then I think you'll be happier. But don't leave them as individual blocks and try and put the whole quilt together. Do a row at a time. Definitely sew a row at a time. And it will really help. Perfect. Yeah. But okay. if you want to do it all in one go, that's fine. But mm -hmm. just make sure you sew the row mm -hmm. and then play before you sew the next row together. Okay. Now, normally, Jenny, this would be the point at which I would be saying, oh, Jenny, thanks for a lovely hour. <laughs> Need to say goodbye now. But we're not saying goodbye he at all. You personally requested an extra half an hour with me. I just need a little bit more time. That's all I'm asking. <laughs> um, so you're going to stick around. I am. And we're going to have a look at previous months. We are. Let's start. Now, should we do blues first or pastels? Blues, yeah. Blues are behind us, so let's do it. Let's start off with January. I've got them all in order ready. Wonderful cat's got them in order. So lots of you are joining the strip of the month today. Great news, we've got all of the months. Uh, starting from January, you can get the whole thing. If you don't wanna do, get everything, if you wanna spread the cost, next month when you come, we will have them all again, won't yeah, we? Yeah, we're making sure to, well, Sewing Street are making sure to reorder any that are getting, that have sold out. So we can keep, Perfect. keep going. Great. So January then, tell me about January. Oh, January, the start of it all. And it just feels like last week. It really does. Was six months ago. Yeah. <laughs> and what's the strip? So the first strip is um, a flying geese. Simple because it's only, you only add three pieces of fabric mm -hmm. to, um, to 
of the block mm -hmm. and then you actually it's the only line that you have like 18 blocks to sew right. together instead of nine mm -hmm. because they're thinner got you but they still equal the same amount don't worry got you managed got you. to do the math for that and then what i've done is i've just in the middle i've rotated those blocks so they're going one way into the middle and then they face each other mm. but i've seen people putting them together and they've decided not to do that i've seen some lovely ones where they've used the same fabric i'll show you one here actually if i can reach so they've used this fabric and this fabric here but then they've also used it for the arrow oh. so it's making like a chevron yes. more than a flying gig yeah, yeah yeah so they've done it like that so then instead so that one and that one would be there as yeah. well yeah yeah like it looks that. like a chevron, it looks completely different. Very nice, like that yeah. idea. Gorgeous. And these, this is the darkest strip as well, isn't it? Yeah, that and the bottom one. So it's these December. really deep, dark, denim-y blues. Yeah. We'll just show you the panel. Kat's going to love us No, today. no. So, so those folding. are your fabrics. So you've got yeah. 10 different fat eights. Yeah all different florals yeah they've all got prints on you might not be able to tell some of them might look like they're solids from the tv mm -hmm. but they have all got prints on mm. fab yeah. so that's the blue january 19.99 and then let's move on to february my birthday month yeah the whole month you are an economy block <laughs> well it's been said before <laughs> been said before so february is the economy block it is indeed. so that's this one here yep so a square in a square in a square in a square yeah but when you're fp put yeah so it's all triangles mm -hmm. sewn together and it's easy yep. easy as pie yep Brilliant. and this is a little bit lighter blues yep yep again same thing all different blue uh floral prints yeah and all sort of lovely tone on tones yeah and so far every panel is 10 fat eights we weren't sure if that would be the same if we'd end up doing fat quarters on them but 10 fat eights is perfect mm -hmm. and you get to have such a variety yeah. of prints if it was fat quarters you wouldn't sure so it just works out perfectly yeah and with this block jenny any special tips about fabric placement or color placement <laughs> value no, just the same again, group your fabrics, cut mm -hmm. everything, group them, play to make sure. I would say you always want different fabrics in the blocks. Mm -hmm. However, I'm trying to remember with this one now, it's ages ago. Yeah, so you'll cut, um, I think it's two squares mm -hmm. of each colour per block and then cut them on the diagonal. So you want the outside two squares to be the same. Yeah. Then you cut those on the diagonal so you have four triangles mm. and then again the inside ones it will be two squares cut on there yep and then oh you can't really see on that one because it's dark and then yeah again yeah so that one's four prints per block fab and i like the way that as well how nicely. you sort of played around with the value and got those kind of lighter and darker yeah. fabrics so you can see each sort of round almost exactly it's fab so that's february now, just to let you know, if any of these do sell out today, for example, don't worry because we will have them back in stock for next month. So it, you can it always. It might not be next month, but it would be August because I'm actually on oh. next Sunday. Oh, <laughs> I'm on with next August? Sun yes, I usually do towards the July, end sorry. of the month. July. Yeah, July. I usually do towards the end of the month, but it's Dylan's 13th birthday oh. on the 9th of July, which is a Sunday. And then the following Sunday, we go on holiday oh. or something like that. Got you. So I've just had to do it like this. So, so you've still got one, one week today, <laughs> You'll be back I will. <laughs> with July. Don't yes. feel like you've got to do the whole row by then. No, 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 don't, don't worry. But yeah, so if things sell out today, we will have them again in August. We will restock. Sure. Yeah. We will restock. Yeah. Cool. Now, March is, now this looks like a jewel. It's a fan. It's a fan. Here it is. I made that up. <laughs> it's a jewel or it's a fan, a jewel. but I think it looks like a fan. <laughs> whatever you want it to be yeah 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 shell it's gorgeous love that block yeah that's a fun one so that's just one block rotated again mm -hmm. but it's upside down and i think if i'm correct in my templates for these i actually rotated did i rotate yeah 
I rotated these in the template, so you've got some pointing down uh -huh. and some pointing up. Oh, okay. So it was just easy to do it for this particular one. So cool. I thought, you know what, I'll make it obvious. Again, for mm -hmm. this one, the outside ones, I've used the same fabric and then completely yeah. whatever I wanted on yeah. the inside strips. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I did make, there was a mistake in this pattern with the cutting in March. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. um, any that have been printed since the first batch have been edited. Right. But people should not worry if they have got the old one. It is because what I realised, because I went into full panic mode, like, oh no, people are going to run out. And then I realised, actually, if you cut in the order it says, oh, this is a new one, because it says 18. So in the old ones, it would have said, what's 18 plus 18? 32. 36. 36. Close. Close. Sorry, Dad. Um, <laughs> it would have said cut 36, nine and a half, sorry, nine by two and a half inch rectangles. Mm -hmm. And then below that, it would have said cut 36, eight by two and a half inch rectangles. Mm -hmm. Well, you only need to cut 18 of each. I doubled the numbers somewhere in my brain. But if you've got the old one you've already cut out and you've realized, all you need to do is trim off an inch mm. from 18 of them. They're too big rather than being too small. Yeah, if you've cut in the order. It's never an issue, exactly. is it, to have it too because big? Because I always say cut in the order of my yeah. list. Yeah. So luckily, the nine inch ones were before the eight inch ones. Ah. So you could just trim an inch off that <laughs> rectangle Perfect. and you're fine. Yeah, no sweat. But someone, uh, it was literally the day after the show or the minute they arrived, they went straight to cutting and they mm -hmm. messaged me saying, I think you've gone wrong. Mm. And I was like, oh no. oh no. So I put a massive thing out on uh, Sewing Street mm. fans and that. Mm. But any new patterns corrected. Cool, great. But I'd just like to clarify that because I know people have bought the, old, the one from the first time around and not made it yet. So yeah. it's just a reminder, there's amendment on there. Okay, cool. But if anything, you've got plenty of fabric. To trim off, you need to trim You'd off an trim. inch or you would run out. Oh, you understood. do need to just trim that off. Right, yeah. okay, okay, fair enough. Right, so that's the March. Now, April. Oh, the April? pinwheel, yes. pinwheel on point. Can we show off all the lovely fabrics again? Yeah. So that's this row here. Yep, we're getting lighter. We are. And for this one, I've suggested you use three different prints per block. Mm -hmm. You will have to use some prints more than once, yep. obviously. But the outside, again, one colour. It just keeps it all to, like less eyes all over the place. Yeah. And then two fabrics for the pinwheels. Mm -hmm. Yeah, gorgeous. And um, how many foundations do you use to make that? Two. Part A and part oh, B. Oh, so part A, part B again. Yeah, so it's top and the bottom. Oh, okay, I can see. So these and then these on the outside. Cool. Yeah. Very good. Um, so there's your panel. So a real mixture of values there, lights, yeah. mediums and darks. Yep, yeah, because we're right in the middle there. Beautiful. Well, I love the prints spectrum. you've used as well. I love Ditsy prints. I just thought it was perfect. You don't want big, big prints for this. No, no. Because they're smaller pieces. Yeah. And it just works. Ditsy and Ditsy look cute. Well, you not only design the panel and the patterns, mm. but you've designed all of the fabrics as well, haven't you? Yeah, uh, well, Amy, no, not Amy. Lou? It's Lou. Ah, yeah. Lou's been doing them But you've me. worked on the designs yeah, of all yeah, the fabrics. Yeah, with the colours and stuff. Yeah. And Lou's loving doing them, they're really... Fantastic, <laughs> fantastic. Now, stock-wise, how are we on May? May has sold out. We'll still show it you though. May is the log cabin variation. Yes, I love the way that log cabin variation. It well, it's National is Log Cabin Day. Oh, is it? Yes, it is. What? World um, Log Cabin Day. Mine's in fact. a rectangular uh -huh. log cabin instead of a square one. Mm -hmm. We have a larger rectangle. And so for this one, it's all in or whatever. You don't want to repeat the fabrics in mm -hmm. the same block but there's no way you have to do two of the same. Got you, you can just do whatever you want. Do whatever you like. And it looks fab like that. So, so that row has sold out, but as Jenny said, in August, we will absolutely definitely have all of the months back in stock. So if you're joining us today and you are buying right from January, just, you won't be able to get May, 
um, unless you've already got it. But that's okay because you've got January, February, March and April and June yeah. to keep you busy until August. I mean, we might even have them next week. Yeah. I don't know, but definitely August is our 100%. Okay, fantastic. And then we've also got the June strip of the month, which we've been working on. That's this one right here, the kite. The kite. Which is the lightest strip. It is indeed. In the middle. So you get full pattern, full instructions, all of your foundations, a master copy of the foundation as well, and your pre-printed panel with all the fabrics on it. Just add thread. Indeed. Mm. I really want to make a solid version of this. That would be gorgeous. I love solid fabric so much. Ooh, could you do a sort of almost like an Amish tones, those kind of rich, deep, moody, solid. But this is me, so it's more likely going to be a luminous. <laughs> <laughs> Can we do the ditzy yes. pastels? Lots and lots of you are doing this. This is the one you're making. It now, is. who's this quilt for? I have no idea. Maybe for you? I, I could keep it. I would say my mum, actually, I think my mum's making the blue one. Hannah's she, quite keen. My mum's ordering these. <laughs> oh, excellent. She, she's just started, F she does loads of EPP. Yeah. But it was the, her first time doing FPP. She loves it, but I can't remember which colour my mum said she's got. She's told me this about 10 times. Yeah. I always get it wrong. All right, let's start with January. Yes. Let's have a little look. So this is the flying geese. It is indeed. This is the flying geese. So this is the top row. Yeah. Oops, sorry. It's just me. There we go. Let's try that again. It's going to be well travelled, this quilt. Coming it up is. And down it's done a lot of miles. Yeah. So here's your first row. This is January. Yep. Your flying geese. Uh, love that. And like you say, you could do this so that your your sky on one unit and your geese on the next are the same fabric and then it would create interlocking chevrons yes. or like an arrowhead. Love that idea. I feel like it might have been my auntie that's done that. It oh, might right, not okay. be. She's doing it as well. <laughs> she cool. loves blue. Well, the fun is all in the doing, isn't it, as yeah. well? So you get your um, full pattern, you get your eight to fat eights all pre printed onto a panel for you for $19.99. If you're doing the pastel version, the details you need are on screen for January. Now, next up, we've got February. Indeed. So, February was the economy. It is. I remember now. It's the only thing that's economy about my <laughs> birthday. <laughs> there we go. Let's just show this lovely yes. block off or this lovely fabric. Panel. It is beautiful. I do love it. Now the pattern is only available with fabric in, yep. a, in a whole bundle. Um, there's no pattern only option. Gorgeous. Yeah. The panels made it so affordable. Yeah, it really has. It helps to spread it out too. Because if it had been ten fat eights that weren't a panel, yeah, over the year, yeah. it would have added up. It would have lot come to a lot. It would have That's come to a lot. That's why we thought pass, uh, the uh, panels were perfect. Yeah, yeah. And then absolutely. we get to play with the fabrics as well, and we have more choice. Yeah, no, it's a lovely way of doing it. And they all go together it. for the whole year because if we're using normal fabrics. Mm trying to order them in each month. Well, they, they run out. It would be, exactly. We wouldn't be able that to repeat them. would have been a nightmare. Them. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Um, can I ask, while we're looking at March, do you have any tips for, or first of all, when do you remove all the papers? Because obviously right. each row has got the paper in yeah. it. So what I do, I have removed all papers from this only because traveling with it all the time, they mm. kept falling out. So what I do is I will keep, apart from me telling you earlier that I always remove um, them from the seam when I've, cut, uh, when I've sewn blocks together, what I would do is so keep them all in as much as you can for the first, for January. And then also once you've completed February's, keep them in. Mm -hmm. Once you've sewn February to January, make sure you remove all the paper from the seam allowances. Mm -hmm. And then I would remove the whole of January's. Okay. And actually, February's, you could remove the top part, mm -hmm. you could move some of them. I tend to just want to make sure I've got the lower ones in that are going to be used to sew to the next row. But if they fall out, like I said, portion of seam allowance, you'll be fine. Yeah. Because they do have a tendency to pop out every, yeah. like, especially if you're putting it away and yeah. opening it out. So don't worry if they pop out, but mm -hmm. that's just how I tend to do it. Yeah, fab. 
Lovely, thank you. All right, March details on screen. This is for March, uh, which is the fan block. Can we see that yes. on the overhead? Oh, they're really gorgeous, aren't they? Oh so that's God. this row here. A message from Nicola. Does the panel tell you which colour to use for each part of the piecing or is it purely your choice, Jenny? It is purely your choice. So it has all the cutting instructions, which sized rectangle, for example, is for which number on the pattern. So like A1, let's say it's a five by three inch rectangle. So then you just, I would say, cut them all for a block, group, cut more for a block, group. And like I said, then you can switch them around and play with them. You mm. can always pop them on top of the template, yep. roughly, so you can see what, what you like and if you're yeah. if you're really like you really want to get it how you want it mm -hmm. precisely there's so many ways that you can play before you sew yeah in order to get it exactly yeah. and then you can move the blocks around before you sew the row but really i mean i i mean i love the way you've used the same fabric around the outside that yes. helps to bring the whole block together indeed but otherwise it the point of it is that it's scrappy exactly. that there's lots of different fabrics yeah. so enjoy that celebrate that exactly that i would say on most of the blocks i have used the same fabric for the outer pieces mm. but then but on the log cabin one no mm. because mm. there's loads of outer pieces and i think it yeah didn't, it didn't want that mix so, it up yeah mix it up enjoy that spontaneity it's about that really traditional look isn't it of patchwork yeah. so for may then you get your full pattern sorry for march you get your full pattern all your foundations your master copies yeah. as well and you get that big panel of 10 fat eights Indeedy. great uh so that is march april what did we do in april the Pinwheel. Pinwheel. We are Let's going have down a look at those. Way, we? we are indeed. We are indeed. So pinwheels on points. It's just part A and part B sewn together. Yep. I'm trying to remember if that's the first part. That is the first one where you have part A and B sew together. Mm -hmm. So all my shows are on YouTube as well. If you want to watch it, like the previous sewing yeah. street shows. But what's good as well is in the instructions you get a full photo tutorial for that block. Yeah, yeah. It's I think not it's just really generic instructions. To do that because it's until you've really got it in your head. Mm. Either it's the first two pieces of fabric you struggle with most. Yeah. Adding the first two pieces. Yeah. It's like, oh, which way was this meant to go and when do I flip? Exactly. So it's just really clear. You're holding everyone's hands the oh, whole way I through. Am. Lucky All right, people, so we've yeah. done April. <laughs> Let's do May. So May's the log cabin. It is indeed. Now we've got stock in the pastels for May. We've run out of B of uh, blue rather. Oh, there are only two left. There's oh. two of May. <laughs> 1999 full fabric pack and your pattern as well for May. It's just sold out. It's just sold out. And of course, then bring us right up to date, Jenny, Indeed. with June the kite. Indeed. We'll put June details up on screen as well. There they are. In case you have just joined us and you're late to the party, you might have been expecting uh, lighting, but this is a longer show. I'm going to, we're going to go to lighting in a few minutes, actually. Um, but uh, yeah, you've been doing a bit extra for us, haven't you, Jenny? I have. Why not? Just a little recap. I've just seen one of the lights that you've put up, the zigzag one. I've got that oh, one. Yeah. Love, Love it. Love the zigzag. I use it in my car. I put it oh, do you? On the, when, if I'm hand sewing in the car, yep. I like lean it. There's a way it goes on the steering wheel. Oh, I'm parked. Cool. And I put it on and I just Oh, so you can sew. sit and sew. In the, yeah, when, in, the, in the winter months. Love that. Love yeah. that. So resourceful. I know. Fab. Jenny. Uh, great roundup. Yeah, it was. It was June. Fun. Done. Yeah. Done. Just give me a quick uh, tease. What's coming next Sunday? Because next, next Sunday is Sunday July. Next Sunday is the crosses. Love these. Yeah. Love these. So like kisses. Yeah. On point. They are. That's a oh, part A and part B. That's a two-parter. It is a two-parter. Lovely. Part. So you're going to be on next Sunday doing that. I am that. indeed. Okay. Don't worry. You haven't got to get June done in a week. No. Um, but we'll be we'll be here next Sunday. You'll be here next Are Sunday. Are you here next no, Sunday? No, I'm not. What? No, oh. no. I should be getting my hair cut. 
Fair before enough. it becomes any bigger and boofier. Yes, I, I've, I've got, I, if I, it's either get it cut or start wearing it up. Those are the choices. Oh, well. <laughs> Jenny, we're going to go to a little break Indeed. now. And I'm going to go and get my lighting playing on. You're back at 11 o'clock. Yeah, I'm going to get a little break. 40 minutes. Yeah, okay. Go get yourself a cuppa. I will. And I'll see you after this. See you later. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! For a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Missed the live show? 
Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Follow Sewing String on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. like Beyonce at the moment. All the single ladies, all the single ladies. Woo! All the single ladies, all the single ladies. Um, that's my Dolly version of Beyonce single ladies. Uh, fabulous. Just got, we had to turn the aircon off because Janie Jackson was getting a bit bit cold but I'm very hot blooded so I'm just sitting in front of a Beldre uh, climate dome and uh, cooling myself down if ever there was a time of year for climate control it's right now um, this is fab now it should be 99.99 we're gonna drop the price let's whoo that's that so I'm hogging the fan aren't I look at that look at that that's fabulous, $59.99. It's really powerful too, but super, super quiet. Loving that, super quiet. We've got, oh, turning it up now. That's awesome. Sorry, it's hitting the mic and it's making it sound very, very loud. It's not loud. But anyway, you can have it on cool, but you can also have it on heating. So when the red light's on, it's warming. So we've got uh, a controller with it, a remote control with it. You've got cooling fan. You've got heating fan as well. You can put aromatherapy oils inside. There's a little here can you see there's a little section where you can put aromatherapy oils in there and then turn it on and have beautiful scents blowing out into the room how's it done just a minute who's doing who's doing So what's happening? It's started moving. Cat's here with the remote control, having a little play. See, Mrs. Mills would jump onto that and she'd be looking round the room. <laughs> oh, it's fab, isn't it? That's fabulous. Um, honestly, really good. Nice message. The dome fan has been a lifesaver in the current temperatures. That's Derek, who's in the Scottish borders. Um, Th these temperatures do not seem to be stopping either, do they? Uh, we're getting really, really hot temperatures. But also in the winter, it gets really, really cold. And 
if you've only got central heating in your house but you're only in one room heating or cooling one room is much much more economical um, if you're staying in that room than doing the whole house needlessly um, we've also got good reviews haven't we I oh, know we've got a price comparison, thank you. A price comparison, thank you. There it is, that's on that long South American river, I believe, isn't it? Um, it's 74 pounds and 50 pence for the exact same thing. 74.50, they've got how many? Two left in stock. Everyone's buying fans right now, aren't they? Um, because sometimes it's the only way you're gonna sleep at night. I love this. So we've got mood. Can we turn the mood light off? Or we can just go between red and blue. Oh, a humidifier as well. So we can have water into that little section at the front. You can have essential oils as well, but you can just put plain water to create a more humid environment. So for example, that can be really useful if you're a bit sort of tickly and a bit dry that can be because the air is very dry that can sometimes help it's also much nicer on your skin as well isn't it if you're using a fan um if you find it's drying then using some water in the humidifier just to increase the humidity uh, can also be really good I imagine as well this could be quite useful if you've got like a plant room. Um, house plants are really popular now, aren't they? You know, just to increase the humidity or cool the room down or warm it. Also for pets. Now, cats like it warm, don't they? Goodness me, cats love it when it's really warm. But over the last few weeks, you know, Mrs. Mills has even thrown in the towel and got to it. Mrs. Mills is a cat, by the way. Don't want you to think she's my elderly neighbour. Um, uh, she's my cat, bless her. And um, she loves it when it's warm. I mean, ridiculously so. But it was too warm for her. And she was lying on uh, a flagstone floor, like almost like dogs do, like flaked out. It was so warm for her. So I got the fan going uh, to cool everything down and she was much happier. That's how hot it's been. So a great thing to have in your home for winter and summer. Um, the cable is a metre and a half, by the way, um, which is important if you don't have lots of plugs. Um, in your house or if you're going along to do maybe a workshop or class um, and you want to take your own fan just to keep you nice and cool or warm you know in the winter because the Beldrade does it all it's a climate dome it can keep you warm it can keep you cool it can increase the humidity if it's all a bit dry uh, we've got split pays two split pays of 29.99 Oh, of course. You see, it should be 99.99, which is where the split pays come in. But we've dropped the price to 59.99, but we've kept the split pays. I love that. I love that. Uh, Steph says, I'm struggling. My sewing room is so hot. It's unbearable. Um, this is the answer. You don't often get Beyonce on a sewing program. Stick around, here you go. Uh, hi Stuart, bought one of these last time they were on and they are well worth it. Love mine. That's from Leslie in Worcestershire. Um, th they are great, they are great. This cooling air is absolutely beautiful. Um, and, and actually on its lowest speed, the, the, the fan has got different levels, but on that lowest speed, it's really quiet. It's really quiet. Now, something I've noticed, I don't know about you, have you ever noticed how uh, on the days that it's raining, yeah, or in the winter, umbrellas go up in price? Have you ever noticed that? Um, and when it's hot, fans more expensive. This is the same price we've done since January. We don't change the price just because it's a heat wave. It's the same price as it was in January as it was in March. 59.99, you've got your split pays. We've dropped that price today. You're actually saving 30 pounds. Is that 40 pound saving? It's a 40 pound, is it 
That's a £40 saving. Oh my goodness. Um, 69.99 price comparison. Is that a stock there? I was going to say it'd be hard pushed to find a fan. 69.99 if it was in stock it's not but you can buy it from us we do have it in stock and it's 59.99 but remember it's a bit like an umbrella you always think on a rainy day oh i wish i had an umbrella and we always think on a really baking hot night when we're tossing and turning trying to sleep um, and it feels like you're lying in a puddle i wish i had a fan we'll grab yours now uh, another price comparison again it's out of stock this is the range. I always think it's going to be cheaper at the range, but um, it's 99.99 if it was in stock. That's where we should be on the Beldre, as is 59.99. We're saving 40 pounds and we are shipping this tomorrow morning. It'll be getting shipped tomorrow morning if you order today. Uh, a message, hi Stuart and team, received my Beldre fan from you this week. My dog hates other fans, but has spent the last three days lying in front of it. Fab, that's from June. They don't like the noise. They don't like the noise. Now, um, another thing with this, uh, uh, here's another price comparison and I'll tell you a little story. Robert Dias, 69.99, still more than us and it's sold out these are all the places you might look as an alternative and they've all either sold out or they're more expensive most of them a lot more expensive and they're out of stock as well we've got them in stock lots of you going for this um, another way that i use my fan is actually for drying wet dog wet cat because, uh, I don't know about you, but if you've ever tried using a hair dryer with a cat or a dog, um, I mean, I used to, uh, um, Mrs. Mill's mum, Hebe, I used to take her to shows, um, the breeder insisted. Um, and I took her to some shows for which you had to bath her. And you think, bath the cat? Well, actually, Bermans love water, so it was never an issue. But of course, you've got to dry them afterwards. And, um, she said to me, don't get a hairdryer. Do not try and dry her with a hairdryer. The noise will really upset her and frighten her. Uh, these are amazing because they literally, you can just put a blanket down or their bed. They just lie on it and basically dry as they're lying there. Hebe used to lie there licking her fur and just chilling, having a little roll around. And it was a bit like a spa treatment. Carol's got in touch to say good morning. Good morning, Carol. Nice to have your company. Um, I'm just going to turn this a little way towards me. <laughs> I'm just going to change the mood lighting to blue. I like that. Cool. Oh, gosh. This is lovely. Um, we love it when you do price comparisons because we're really confident that we are the best price around. We've got another price comparison. This is Wilco. Again, a place I would associate with getting a bit of a bargain. Uh, not on this. It's 75 pounds, but they haven't got any. 75 pound, they haven't got any. Um, because it's baking hot, there's a heat wave, and it's probably only gonna get worse. I think there might be a few thunderstorms today. Certainly in Yorkshire, there's a thunderstorm predicted. James is out in the field as we speak, baling silage and haylage. Um, animal fodder for the winter. Um, but before the rains come. But then it's going to get hot again. Um, but anyway, you'll bring this out year after year, month after month, because this isn't just a fan. It's also a humidifier. It's also a heater. You can have it with or without the movement. You can have it just in one position. I actually like having the movement at night when I'm sleeping because actually after a while, it's nice to have it sort of on your feet and then it comes up to your face and down. It keeps your whole body nice and cool during the night. It's almost like there's a gentle breeze just keeping you nice and cool. Really quiet 
as well, especially on its lowest setting. Um, if I just, this is the fastest, but I'm gonna go down to its lowest setting. Obviously I've got a microphone on, so you're gonna hear a lot more. But that's hardly a sound. That's hardly a sound, but gorgeous. If you were lying on the beach and there was no breeze and then even the lowest setting breeze came off the sea, you would be like, I'm in heaven. This is perfect. I just needed that breeze. That's what the lowest setting is like. It's almost soundless. It is beautifully cool. Some people do that little trick as well, don't they? Where they put a bowl of ice in front of a fan. You can do that and then the cool air, it, it, the ice rather, then the fan blows across the ice and it brings even cooler air over you. Have you ever done that little trick? You can do that too. pretty much sold out everywhere. Where's this? Debenhams. Debenhams online. $75.99. Have they got any? No, out of stock. Oh dear. <laughs> Gosh. Can I tell you a quick funny story? Uh, my wonderful friend Rich, he's no longer with us um, sadly, but wonderful, wonderful guy Rich. And um, absolutely was in love with Yorkshire, he's from the Midlands, but he was in love with Yorkshire. And I remember him coming up and um, he and his wife went to um, Beverly, which is a lovely place to go. And they went into a cafe for lunch and the waitress came over and um, uh, they were having a lovely little chat, really nice uh, uh, waitress he, he was telling me. And he said to her, oh he said, can you recommend any think for lunch she said oh she said I had a bowl of the soup of the day it was absolutely gorgeous and Rich said to her oh I'll have a bowl of that then please she went oh, sorry it's sold out <laughs> and he told that story forever and he thought it was the funniest thing um, yeah oh yeah I can recommend the soup I ate the last bowl <laughs> Only in Yorkshire, love it. Um, yeah, wouldn't it? Isn't it annoying? Isn't it annoying that all of those shops out there that have got the Beldre Climate Dome have? They're all selling it for more, and they're all sold out. Which also means that hundreds of people have bought Beldre Climate Domes from them and paid more than they needed to. That's the other thing. Everyone who's bought from Debenhams or from the range has paid more than they would have done for buying it from us. But not you, not today. You're getting it for 59.99 and we've got it in stock. Uh, Alicia's got in touch. She says, mine arrived yesterday and it's been on ever since. My Shih Tzu, Lily and myself have been very grateful it did in this heat. It, a, a, um, a great buy, thanks, uh, Sewing Street. Ah, you're welcome. And I'm glad Lily's enjoying it too. Oh, there's, oh I feel so sorry for our lovely pets at this time of year um, because, you know, we can take layers off and they've got their fur coats and that's that. Um, so I'm glad that you and Lily, Miss Lily as I shall call her, are keeping nice and cool in front of your Beldre Climate Dome. Just gorgeous. Uh, over 100 of you have gone for the Beldre 4-in-1 Climate Dome. Well done if you've managed to get yours. You're going to be sleeping easy, nice and cool, uh, whenever you need it. But also remember, in the autumn and the winter, and actually even sometimes in the summer, it can drop really cold at night. Um, I shouldn't, probably shouldn't tell you this, but there have been a couple of times over the last month, six weeks, where Charlie and I have had a long fire in the evening, where it's been quite a nice day, but then it's dropped really cold at night, and uh, we've been, or we've had quilts over our laps to keep us warm. Your Beldre is a climate controller. It's got humidity settings. It's got heat. It's got cooling air. You can add aromatherapy. So all you would do there is this little section on the front pulls out 
um, you've got a little reservoir in there so you can put water in there but also you can put a few drops of something like lavender essential oil now lots of people find the scent of lavender very relaxing very soothing um, you can also put something like you could put something like tea tree or eucalyptus something like that a bit of eucalyptus with the humidifying effect of the if you'd got a bit of stuffy nose as well lots of people find that very helpful or a little bit of olbus oil in there as well or you could just use it with a bit of rose essential oil to freshen a room that perhaps has been shut up for you know the winter and you need to give it a little bit of a refresh hi Stuart um, can you turn the light off oh you can turn the light off if you hold your finger on the fan button on top for a couple of seconds Oh, wait a minute. On the fat. There. Well done. Thank you so much. Because I was wondering, I thought maybe I would find the light on at night too much if I was trying to sleep. Thank Who was that from? Hannah. Who was that from? Diana. Thank you, Diana. Really appreciate that. Thank you. That's the extra mile. Thank you. Our viewers are wonderful, aren't they? Top tips from us too, and from you as well. So if you hold your finger on that, the light comes back on. There we go. There we go. From us looking around, we've looked everywhere that we would normally look. We'd look on Amazon, we'd look on the range, we'd look on Debenhams, we'd look online. Uh, everybody's sold out or it's more expensive. Okay, at the moment we've got them in stock and you're saving £40. It's £59.99. At a time when you absolutely do not need to be doing a price saving on this. You know those times of year when you think, I, I would pay 10, people do, I would pay £10 for an ice cream. People do it, don't they? In a theme park, think, oh, I'd really love an ice cream, they're £10. You pay it. At the cinema, you go to an airport, oh, I really need a sandwich. And we pay over the odds for things when we don't have a choice. When we don't have a choice, we'll pay whatever we need to pay or go without, and that's suffering. Um, on a rainy day you pay you buy that expensive umbrella because it's the only way to stay dry in the heat you will pay 99.99 for a fan to keep you cool because what price a good night's sleep eh but this is 59.99 for a 99.99 fan climate controller humidifier heater cooler all in one and that lovely ambient light as well which you can turn off if you prefer you can have it um red or blue you choose i tend to associate the blue with the cool but you can have it cooling and red light if you prefer but that might be nice sort of nice glow in the evening we used to do that years ago when we first moved into the cottage we the, we didn't have a, a log burner it was it was there was an old log burner in the ingle nook but it wasn't connected up and so we used to light a big church candle and put it inside. We was too poor to have it connected. So we used to call it lighting the fire. And we used to still joke about it now. And we'd have the candle go, just because it created that kind of glow and that ambience, you know. And we used to go, oh, it's lovely, isn't it? And you could do that with the red light as well. It just gives you a little bit of a cosy glow. Now, talking of lighting, it's uh, about time we looked at something else. I really, really, really want to keep the fan on because it's lovely, but... Oh. Woo! I just want to turn it off now. There we go. Right, we've turned it off. Okay. Well done if you've got yours. Look forward to some nice, cool nights. Right then, we're going to start... We've we've renamed Native Lighty the Uppy Lighty, the Uppy Downy Light. It's called the Reverse Lamp. Let's pop it on. Um, my absolute favourite bit of Native Lighting. Let's turn those lights down low. 
this is the see, oh it's, un, it's very very unflattering light to be, look at this look at this this is bad this is bad lighting isn't it I've never been oh bad but you know this is campfire lighting isn't it this is sitting in the garden that on the table late night little sort of chat and a little little cup of tea in the garden late at night it's lovely um here if i tip this there's our cool daylight our bright daylight so we can have our daylight we can have our warm light love that but also we've got six different settings our brightest we can dim a little a little more and there's our lowest level so again, if you want ambience or you want a night light or you want a little bit of security lighting just so you can see where the path is or the garden gate or even your front door, you can turn the light back on now. I suppose so. And you don't have to go through each different level. You can jump from lowest to highest or in the middle. It's also got a little hook at the top and... Uh, that so you can actually hang that up have it on a little uh, like a shepherd's crook kind of thing in the garden would be lovely you could also have this on a bedside table i've got to be honest with you i use mine at christmas inside a wreath on the table because you know christmas day everyone's reaching across the table passing the gravy passing the sprouts and everything else the last thing you want is a lit candle with somebody reaching over it um, we've all seen that video uh, not good you can also put these where you want ambience where you couldn't put a candle so for example on a bookshelf um, on the top of you know a wardrobe maybe just to create a bit of cozy glow and ambience it's also brilliant when you want a bit of task lighting nice and close near you you could take this out if you're doing work on the car in the garage in the shed uh, just a fabulous design really really innovative design very clever and remember you've got 12 different settings you can also put it on its side and you can have half and half how cool is that our lovely vix and vix if you're watching lots of love and kisses to you and the babies and to kieran of course um if you didn't already know uh, our lovely vix has had twin girls Belle and Tilly. Belle and Tilly, who join Maisie, three beautiful little girls. Um, wonderful. Now, um, Maisie uh, has had this as a nightlight on, uh, by her bedside table for, for uh, all her life. A little cosy glow. And of course, you can have these on the lowest setting next to you. Can we just turn the lights down again, please, just for a second? Just want to show you. This is the lowest setting. And that's a lovely little cosy glow. Even just a little lighter. And you've got the perfect night light for the bedside table. Lovely. Thank you. Oh, just a, this is a nice little message from from Bex. Um, just talking about the fan again. She says, "Last year I bought a fan for the bedroom. This made me giggle. And when I turned it on, it sounded like a Harrier jump jet taking off. Uh, it's been up in the loft ever since. Mm. Exactly. Well, exactly, exactly. And, and, and how annoying is that? You've got a fan, but you can't use it. Grab yourself a Beldre Climate Dome because these are wonderful." even on its absolute lowest setting it's almost soundless it's a beautiful cool breeze you can have it with or without the mood lighting 
you can put water into the reservoir to create a bit of extra humidity you can put essential oils in there or scented oils in there as well just to create a bit more ambiance it's also got a heating setting so you can use it as a room heater too absolutely wonderful and um, you know a great buy um, everywhere else we've looked at everyone's sold out everyone's more expensive than us or if people have got what this one or two it's one or two everyone needs a fan right now but even when you don't need a fan you can humidify the room with this you can also heat the room with this all right I'll leave that switched off for now right now then, the two-in-one travel light, one of, I think, one of the cleverest bits of design I've seen, in lighting in particular. Uh, I'm just going to turn the lamp, the, the uh, torch on, by the way. Uh, we call it a lamp. Oh, it was on then. There we go. Right, got it on. Thank you. $45.99. Now, so I've got it as torch at the moment. So wonderful if you're going camping, uh, if you're in a cabin and, uh, you know, a cabin in the woods. Thank you. Or, uh, you know, if you want it in your shed or just you want something so that at night you don't have to turn the big light on or even the lamp on, wake people up wake yourself up bathroom back of the house downstairs coming down in the middle of the night in the darkness the last thing you want to do is put on the main lights because what's going to happen there is that light is going to trigger your brain it makes you going to feel like it's daytime i've got to get up it could be two in the morning you'll never get back to sleep just having low level lighting a little torch like this just to light the way but it's not just a torch open up the handle the torch goes off oh the light's gone off let me turn it back on what did i do there i think it might need a charge mm. oh there we go thank you there we go i'm on i'm on sorry it's operator error it's always operator error with me isn't it but there we go so now the table lamp is on <clears throat> and what's fabulous about this is so we've got a lovely task light so if i'm writing a letter maybe i'm working at my laptop hotel rooms lighting is often lovely for mood lighting when you want to go to sleep but terrible if you want to try and do some work in there it's the same with things like caravans as well the lighting might be okay for general day to day but you try sitting down and doing some work can be really difficult studying sewing you can have this next to your sewing machine uh, you've got that brilliant task lighting there but look it's an angle lamp so you can angle it to whatever angle you need including having it as a wand now this particularly good we've got a really big deep like walk-in storage cupboard okay at home but it doesn't have a light in it so it's fine in the doorway and we should have fitted a light but we never have um so you can go into the cupboard with this find things you can light under the sofa is my phone has my phone slipped under the sofa my pound that i dropped where is it has it gone under the bed or if like me you like to check in the hotels to make sure it's nice and clean little hotel inspector i am i have white gloves well you know but i mean yeah i am a little bit <laughs> fab though isn't it so you can have it right up like this like this or snap it closed and the light goes off so let's just pop it back on there we go and this is usb charger so you've got a little usb charging point at the side right here charge your light up and hannah about six hours use 
six hours continuous use with one charge, two year warranty as well. Absolutely fab. These are all LED lights, by the way. So the, the amount of time they last is incredible. It's about 20 years of use at eight hours a day of use. It's incredible. They really last an incredible amount of time. So uh, you can buy this with confidence. Two year warranty from Native Lighting. Um, obviously portable when you've charged it. Um, just to quickly nip back to the Beldre fan, this is mains. So this is plugged in, one and a half meter cable, but yeah, you don't charge this up. It, uh, you plug it in, well done if you've managed to get yours, over 150 of these gone today. Make sure you check out your basket if you've got that because everyone else is sold out or more expensive than us or they've got one or two left. Um, we've, we think we're the most competitive on this, certainly we have got them in stock so if you need a fan right now or for next month or a heater for during the winter or a humidifier or for uh, spreading out your essential oils in your house. Um, lots of people actually now as well have sheds, converted sheds for working and sewing in. Um, <clears throat> they can get really, really hot in the summer, right? And they can get really, really cold in the winter. Uh, so having heating that you can take out or cooling air that you can take out is super, super important. I went out for my first few years as a teacher, I had a Terrapin mobile classroom and they used to get unbearably hot in the summer and freezing cold in the winter and we never ever seemed to be able to get the temperature just right. With your Beldre Climate Dome, you can control the temperature and the humidity and on its lowest setting, this fan is so quiet, definitely not like the Harrier jump jet that Bex bought um, last year, that is now in her loft and doesn't get used. I really love, by the way, all the comments that people have sent in about cats and dogs and the pets, how much your pets appreciate this. Because um, pets are very sensitive to things like noise or can be, especially coming out of a fan or a hairdryer. The, the goats in the hot weather, now they have a great big airy barn to sleep in and chill in whenever they feel like it. They have open access to that day and night. And um, there's a nice breeze that runs through, so it's always nice and cool, it's all shaded. So that's their little escape. And they often just lie there and just chill. Um, then they've also got this big long like ramp, concrete ramp out of the barn into the field, which really sort of like warms up in the heat. Now some days they absolutely lay there and sunbathe and you can see them soaking up every bit of warmth that they can get. And then other times they're off out in the fields, they've got bushes to chew on and pasture land, they've got all sorts to explore and play. They can't bear buttercups. They can't bear, no, nope, no, nope, they're poisonous, they won't touch them, they won't eat them, other things will eat them, but goats won't, and they know, it's amazing, isn't it? Anyway, enough of all that, a message across the bottom. Hi Stuart, what is the quilt behind you? It's stunning, thanks Debbie. Uh, Debbie, I'm glad you asked. This is <laughs> the sun, the moon, and the stars. This is a brand new quilt from Jason Yenta. Hello, uh, this is a new quilt from Jason Yenta with his beautiful sun, moon and stars range. Um, Deputy Joan did the fabulous piecing on this. It's beginner friendly. Uh, the fabrics are so beautiful and so different as well. You've got suns, moon, stars. You've got gold in there, metallics. You've got wildflowers at night, moths. At night, you've got um, the uh, dragonflies as well, fungi and mushrooms, berries. It's really beautiful. And that border print, what a stunner. I'm gonna be doing this at eight o'clock tomorrow morning. I'll be showing you how to make it. I'm guesting tomorrow. Uh, Rose is gonna be here presenting. And then at 10 o'clock, 
I'm going to be showing you how to make this quilt, um, uh, which I can show you as well. This is called the Country Star, well, Cobblestone Cabin. Um, which is a new quilt pattern from me. This is one variation. There are about eight different variations in the pattern, but you also get a bonus. So that's the large block, but you also get the pattern for the half size block. So four of these blocks make one of those. So you can use these blocks to make that quilt, but rather than one country star, you would have four country stars, or you could have a country star in the middle and borders around it. You could do all sorts. Right, we are gonna to go to a break. When we come back, I will be joined by the wonderful Jenny Jackson for her second hour. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. 
Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. of Sewing Street, why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Absolutely love this. Okay. I was supposed to be starting over there, but then I spotted this on Jenny Jackson's countertop, and I was straight over and I was like, oh my goodness, I absolutely love that. Uh, love solids. I always tell you I love solids. The colours oh, as no. well. This is gorgeous. Jenny, you're doing Excellent two beautiful colors. projects in I this am. hour. We've got this tool bag. There are two options, the solid, yummy, or beautiful Emily Bell, Liberty. It is so pretty. Imagine knitting needles, your tools. Um, actually, so many different things with this. It is just gorgeous. This is the long box pouch. Liberty is on screen now, $37.99. Pattern, pa paper pieces and all of your fabrics as well. We've also got the solids version. We're going to put the details of that up on screen as well, which is pattern, all your paper pieces for your EPP and all of your fabrics for $27.99. This is amazing. Thank you. I'm going to get back much. where I was supposed to All start right, now. Go. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, I'm just going to grab the rainbow bundle first because this is gorgeous. This is the Scrappy Honeycomb long box pouch. Now what you're getting here <clears throat> is you're getting your pattern first of all. So this is your paper pattern from Jenny Jackson. All of your full instructions, photographs, step by steps, everything in there to create your pouch. You're also getting, do I get all of the paper pieces I need? Do you know what? Dad, if you're watching, messaging, I think Dad, you do. Dad? Dad, if you're watching, I don't, can you no, let I us don't know? No, I don't think you do. I think you get a certain amount and you have to reuse them. Okay. I don't know why, my mind's just gone completely blank. So you piece like two or three uh, rows yeah, and then yeah, you take yeah, some yeah. of them out and just use them? Because as soon as all sides of a shape have been sewn around, you just reuse them. Okay, cool. Yeah, great. But Dad, if you're watching, can you let us know, please? Thanks. Thanks, Tim. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> um, so you get those included as well. And then you get your fabrics. Look at these. Yeah, just so that you know, Jenny Jackson, uh, its dad is not my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Which I'm sure Jenny Jackson's dad will be very, very pleased about. <laughs> oh. So what you're getting here are... Oh, no, 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 I just meant the amounts. Fat eights and then... Fat eights? 
Half so you get eight fat eights and, and then meter. half a metre yeah. of your bright pink. Thank you. No, just quantities. Perfect. Perfect. I am absolutely in love with these. Jenny, may I just borrow yeah, back? Yeah, of Just for a second. How much stock? A third of the stock. Look at that. If you needed something to help you fall in love with solids, Jenny, you've done it. <laughs> you've done it. Thanks. Oh, they I look am amazing. With these colours. Yeah. Amazing. They are so beautiful. Love the way you've quilted it as well. Easy, achievable, straight lines, walking foot. Everybody could do this at home. Just brilliant. You could also hand quilt this, couldn't you? Oh, yeah, yeah. There's really so easily. many options. Really I do easily. love a straight line quilting for pouches. I do too. There's something about it. I do too. Pinstripe but I do love quilting. a cross hatch as well. Yes. And you could go, I, well, what I would do, I think, is to go diagonally through all of these shapes, hand yeah. or machine quilt, and go in both directions, and you'll end up with long, thin diamonds yeah. quilted through it as well. But just beautiful. Those are stunning. Eight fat eighths, plus a half metre, plus your pattern and paper shapes to get you started. You will need to reuse them to have enough, but that's fine. Once you've done a couple of rows, just take out one of the rows of paper and then use it lower down. Uh, just gorgeous. I'll tell you if there are any other little bits and bobs that you need to add to finish making the pouch up. I suspect a little bit of something to go inside and a zip. Uh, but let me show you the other kit that you can buy. So this is our Liberty Emily Bell uh, colourway. This is the one we've got finished made up. It's so pretty. Absolutely gorgeous. Every single one of these is a Liberty print. So you get, you get eight fat eights again. And of course, you know me, I've got to put them in a little rainbow order or some kind of colour order. Quarter of the stock of this one is gone. It's team solid at the moment. It is team solid at the moment. Yeah, they weren't in teams, but everyone's in a team now. Look at those. And then you're also getting, so this is our lining. We yes. get our lining included. Yeah. Awesome, beautiful um, chambray. That's the chambray cotton solid. Just lovely, soft, gentle colours. Um, of course, you could mix and match if you've got some other fabrics at home. You could mix and match with these and make two different bags. You've got all these beautiful Emily Bells, but you might have some solids that you could mix with those and do your own thing. So you get all of those plus your full pattern as well for $37.99. Now then, what do we need? What goes inside, Jenny? So I used H640 because mm -hmm. it just gives it that more, it's, it's more stiff than just normal wadding. Yeah, don't use quilt wadding for this. Unless you want a floppy bag, which is fine. But that, and I haven't, but if you want it even more like rigid, you could use um, on the lining, you could iron your pieces to some lightweight interfacing, even okay. the lining, and that yeah. will make it even more stiff. Yeah, cool. Okay, I like that. Um, on screen is one metre by 90, so H640 is 90 centimetres yeah. wide. You're getting a metre for 9.99. Is that enough to make one bag? That is enough to make a bag, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Perfect. Thank you. Do we need a bit of light or medium weight interfacing for the carry handle? Or no, is that just fabric? just fabric. Yeah, awesome. Great. Fabulous. Love that. Um, we'll also need a zip. Yeah. What length of zip do we need? I use a 22 inch zip. 22 inch or 56 nice, centimetre? Yep, yeah, I have a nice easy way of putting zips in. Awesome, so I love that. the bigger the better with them. Yes, I've got four. Okay. Yeah, four different colours to choose. I've got cream. These are invisible zips, aren't they? These are concealed zips. It's not a concealed zip. Jenny's shaking her head. No. No? No, I said it's not a concealed zip. Okay, so, right. Yeah, you want an open, like, you can see on the... A regular the, zip. A regular zip, yeah. Okay. I'm not well, sure how it would work with a concealed Okay, one. okay. I mean, you could still put it in. Um, you just would have that 
band showing on the top. Um, they would work. Shall we go through them? No. All right, we'll leave those. Uh, they're on the website. Uh, now, if you want the pattern pieces and the instructions on their own, we've only got a handful remaining. So you could you could buy this and then do your own thing with your scraps. Sixteen ninety nine, um, and you get the pattern. You also get a pack of paper pieces. Uh, these are stronger than normal paper, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they're my card that you can reuse so many times. So Sold you don't out, have Jenny. To worry. Oh, okay. Sold <laughs> out. Now you see them, now you don't. So now the only way to get a hold of this is in the bundle. So you need to choose, are you Team Liberty or are you Team Solids or are you Team Both? <laughs> Some of you going for both. Right, um, don't forget one meter of H640 is also required. Now, uh, next project, I'm very excited about this. This is the Poof. Now then, I've got, can I just grab the piece yeah, I'll grab from it for you, please? You. It's fine. Thank you. Awesome. I love a home deck project. I love a home deck project. Look at this. Look, 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 look. It's lovely. It's got beautiful EPP. In this case, it's the Emily Bell Liberty Patchwork. We've also got a solids version as well, which I'll show you in a sec. So this is the top. This is the base. Love the crosshatch quilting there. It's also got a handle on the side because this is a movable thing, isn't it? The handle's can... optional if you don't want it. But I love that. I like the handle. I love <laughs> that because you can carry it around to a to a spot under a tree in the garden. Really great if you want to make them for kids because they love dragging their stuff around with them. So <laughs> it would be so nice for kids' Gorgeous. bedrooms and stuff. And then this is the kind of thing you can sit on it, you can rest your head on it, you can lean on it, you can use it as a little footrest yep. as well. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, put your feet up. And there's enough liberty left if you if you want to applique some hexes on the side piece Ooh, as well. Oh, around. You could just applique some on. Around here. And that would look so nice. I was going to do it, I just didn't have time to do I it. I love that, that idea. But I think it would look really great with just dotted hexes around or a line of them, a row of them. And we've got a bit of leftovers that we could do that Plenty with. Plenty to do, yeah. Fantastic. I love that. So let's have a look at our two options in kit. Let's start with the version we've just seen. So this is the Liberty Emily Bell. You get one metre of Imperial Purple. Then you get these Fat Eighths. They are indeed. Fat Eighths of Emily Bell. You get seven of these, beautiful, beautiful Emily Bell, which is, I think, probably my favourite Liberty print. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I do love it. I do love it. I just think it's gorgeous. So you get those. Those are your fabrics. That's your fabric pack. That's enough to, for all the fabric requirements yeah, for yeah. the poof. Then you also get your full pattern. And then you also get a pack of Jenny's heavy duty reusable pattern pieces or paper pieces for your EPP. You will reuse these as you're making. See, I've definitely need my, my mind has just gone a blank. I think you get all of them in that one. Okay. Yeah, I think you get enough in that one, but because you need so many with the other project, you gotcha. need to reuse them. So yeah, you just reuse down. them. Yeah. But that's the point of, of them being oh, yeah, heavy exactly. duty. They're easy to use and, and they're you can reusable. Just make them again, again. <laughs> awesome. Um, I think this is the kind of project that you're going to make. Everyone's going to be asking yeah. for one. Yeah. everyone's good and the nice thing about it is I mean we love our EPP but it's not a massive amount of no, work no. to do that is it no that's easy and they're um, 1.5 inch hexy so they're nice and big so it comes Great. together really quick but how cool would a Christmas one look oh a Christmas one would be amazing amazing so much fun I want that <laughs> that's the one I want so that's the first bundle now the second bundle is again celebrating solids this time oh, excuse me all the greens so you love these teals I and turquoises don't did, you I did it to match the lampshade yes from of course. last month yeah I thought how nice would it look to have both mm. 
agreed really nice so what you're getting there is you get a meter of that deep tealy turquoise and then you get seven fat eighths of different shades of green and is there a sort of defined pattern a defined layout no of the so it's all Just, random yeah yeah lovely wherever you want them could you do a sort of almost like a granny's flower garden if you uh, wanted you to? You possibly could. You would just need to make sure there's enough fabric if you're going to use loads mm. of one colour. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. So the reason why there's seven on there, because you have some left over of the main fabric for ah. the um, poof side and bottom. Yep. You can use some of that to add another colour into it. Oh, ace. Yes. Excellent. I like that. I like that. Awesome. There we go. There we go. So you get your pattern, your pattern pieces and all your solids. This time 32.99. What a fantastic price. Now if you want to just get the pattern and the pattern pieces on their own, these are close to selling out. 18.99 for pattern and paper pieces. We've only got a few left. Now, can we just talk? Oh, sorry. Yeah. We just wanted to ask you about the filling. Yeah. What goes inside because it's big. Uh, it's going to require a lot of filling. What do we need? Uh, so I used like just normal kind of toy stuffing mm -hmm. and <laughs> ordered way too much. Okay. <laughs> so um, because how much did you order, Jenny? Five kilograms. Five kilograms. Yeah, yeah. And when you consider that one of these bags. This is 200 grams. <laughs> yeah, I so have so five much of those. So 25 <laughs> of those, and you didn't you? Yeah, you know, you know. Okay. So we could use toy stuffing. Yeah, you could use pellets at the bottom if you want it weighted. You could put pellets at the bottom and then put toy stuffing yeah you could use those and probably i would do i would use the circle template yeah cut two out of calico yeah join them with a gap fill those and put that in the bottom yeah yeah but yeah. you're going to use pellets um or polystyrene balls i can never remember what their official name is you know the little bean bags yeah, the polystyrene yeah. beads yeah they're they're great for it yeah and you could put a zip in this couldn't you if yes, you wanted to so it's scenes, removable so you can put it in one of the side scenes mm. if you want yeah one of the things i've done as well when i've been making um large poofs like this which which do require a lot of stuffing and you do want them quite heavy is if you've got any old towels you can use old towels in a bit of a stack now obviously they're not going to make a lovely plumptious edge but what you can do then is wrap them in high loft quilt batting um, or pad the outside with toy stuffing and then have the towels as a sort of centre core which fill a lot of space quickly and easily and will also give it a nice weight. So there's a few options aren't there? There is indeed. Yeah, awesome. Right, let's go to demo. What can you show me? Can I have my um, my other half? You can. Um, back, please. So I'm I mean, going to start with the box it. pouch. I've just looked at the time, so I don't know how much we're going to have to uh, on the poof because we're already halfway we'll through. Be fine. We'll be fine. But the poof is the easiest project to make ever. So if we don't show much, even if I just hand show you. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so I've already started the. Um, the box pouch here you make one large hexagon piece and then baste it quilt it and then cut it down into two rectangles okay so i've already done that because i think it's important to show the popping together yeah so i've even gone as far as putting one side on a zip and i thought i'd show you how to do the other side mm -hmm. so oh also i have another one but this is not doing any EPP. So once you've made it once, you can take the measurements and you can make gifts and stuff if you don't. Oh, yeah. Just out of, or use your favourite prints. This is one of my favourite prints. Yeah, so, it's gorgeous. Yeah, that's another option. You can just keep going. And it's really handy because it fits in rulers. Oh, of course, that's yeah. Right. right, so to sew the um, straps on, I've got the measurements in the pattern. You want, to, I've made the straps, simple fabric straps, everything's in the pattern, mm -hmm. photograph instructions. Mm -hmm. So you want to do, pop them on 
seven inches in from the end and three inches down from the top. I really feel like I've got to rush this. Oh no don't, there's plenty of time. Time flies though when you're having fun. It certainly does. So um, yep and then the other side I'm going to measure exactly the same, seven inches in from the side and three inches down. There we go. Just going to pin those in place because it's a message i save old off cuts and use them to pad things out that's from roxana who's yeah. in worcestershire yeah you can use scraps and stuff scrap fabric yeah, scrap yeah. wadding hi another option for stuff in the poof is to buy a cheap supermarket duvet it works well yeah like that that's true oh i've popped my or even if you've got like um you know out of season duvet if you put a zip in the side you could almost use the poof as storage yeah so adding the straps is really simple on top. I'm going to sew a square around the stitching I've already done and then do a, like a cross in the middle. Okay. So I just do it all in one go. It, you want to take your, t uh, your time at this point and make sure it's all neat and mm -hmm. lines up. I'm going to do a quick jobby of it. Always do it so your um, needle ends in. I tend to stay stitch instead of back stitch on this part. Mm -hmm. I just forgot. So you use that, that little there. knotting function. Yeah, I love that function. I use it on my machine all the time. Do you? I never use it. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I sometimes touch it by mistake. No, I use it a lot, especially on little projects. Less so on quilts, mm -hmm. but on projects. So I've just gone round in a square, and then I'm just going to do a crisscross in there just to give it that extra weight. I'm not doing it very neatly, but single figures on this colorway last few remaining check out your baskets on the uh, yeah the solids. on the solids you have definitely shown us the beauty of solids i'm obsessed with them i yeah. absolutely love them it's all about playing the color that's one of my favorite things gorgeous absolutely gorgeous yeah so if you stay stitched like that yeah you don't have to go back and forth fabulous Good when my tip. dookie went to services i missed that function <laughs> Oh, it's awful, isn't it, when your main machine's in the menders? Yeah, but I did um, I did get a uh, Juki TL because I only had oh. this machine. I only had one machine. So they, they gave you a loan machine? No, I, oh. I got it. Oh, you... Oh, <laughs> and well, everyone needs a second oh machine. Oh, my gosh. It is brilliant. Is it? I oh, it's so speedy. Nice. And it absolutely loves free motion quilting. Oh, good to know. Yep. We'll have to get one on air. Yeah. Um, on John's birthday, the Dukey boys brought it with them, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, I should demo on it sometimes. Definitely, instead. for yeah. sure. There we go. So I'm just adding the other handle quickly, but you want to take your time. It's just if I don't add both sides, it will yeah, flap yeah, yeah. around and get in the way while I'm on my later next stages. Right. See, so I haven't stayed stitched that. This is so good. you put the strap on and yep. then you sew the zip in. Yes. Yes. So don't be scared of zips, guys, because I just I ha do simple zips. Yeah, yeah, of course. It's all. It's n there's nothing to be afraid of. I was petrified of them originally, like FPB, <laughs> but then I found a way that made sense to me. Yeah. Right. So I've already popped it on one side, so I need to add it to this side. So put your EPP piece, right sides up. Just tuck your handle down now. And then put your zip right sides down. So this is the same if you're adding it to the first bit as well. Mm -hmm. And then you want to line up, so the zip is bigger. So right now I'm just lining it up with the previous piece I've added. But if it wasn't, you just want to center it on the zip. There we go. So what I would suggest, because it is a long old um, zip, mm. I would suggest maybe using a bit of quilter's tape. Yeah, So it doesn't move. Yeah, because this is going to move. But I don't care because it's a demo piece. You can pin though as well, can't you? You can pin, pin really you carefully. can clip. But um, yeah, because you can take your time. Mm -hmm. So, oh no, what am I doing? I was going to take that to the machine. I don't want to do that. I want to add my lining piece. Ah. And then it's the lining piece right sides down on mm -hmm. top of here. There we go. 
it's just moved a bit so you just want to add your lining piece on top of that zip so you're making a bit of a sandwich a complete sandwich yeah and i mean cutting accurately will always help help the situation mm -hmm. <laughs> she says she says who cut this so fast to make sure it was all ready and then clip all three in place and then you want to use your zipper foot and you're just going to sew all the way along so you've mm -hmm. got the zipper pieces hanging off because they're bigger okay i think that makes adding a zip so much easier that's my preference so the head of the zip the zip pull is actually off you don't have to worry about it yeah it's just is oh, awesome over the um the edge there mm -hmm. yeah so you don't even have to move it when you're sewing brilliant because it's brilliant. just not going to get in the way and that's using a 22 inch regular zip yeah great and right. you can get a really funky color maybe to go with your fabrics oh yeah I've used a lilac nice. for this colourway mm. and then for the Liberty I just I think I used either a white or a cream I can't mm, remember. Nice. So I'm just going to add this really quickly but you really want to take your time mm -hmm. to make sure the zip isn't moving. Mm -hmm. I, I would use clips every inch and a half not, yeah. ev like, not like four um, clips. Yeah. But purpose, uh, demo purposes and all of that, just, yeah, yeah, we want to get the gist of it, don't absolutely. we? Absolutely. Um, over allocating on the solids, way more if you've got this in your baskets than we have. So this last few of you, please check out. Um, remember, you'll need to add a 22 inch regular zip and you also need one meter of H640, uh, which is 9.99. Details are on screen for that. Um, Sue says, if I'm out of double-sided tape when I'm putting a zip in, I use my glue pen to base the zip in. Works just as well. Yeah, you mean uh, like a sew line yeah, glue so pen? Like yeah, glue pen. Yeah, they work really well too. Or you can go old school, grab a needle and thread and ba base hand the zip in. in. Yeah, Doesn't because take long. I don't know about you, but whenever I'm putting zips in, the lining fabric always seems to move along. If yeah. you haven't, If you haven't put it like yeah basted it exactly somehow so mine's moved along but you know what it's okay it looks good to me so now we're just going to open that out mm -hmm. and what i would do then is give this a press being careful of the plastic teeth either side mm -hmm. you know just to get the line and fabric out the way of the zip and yeah. also this and then top stitch all the way along the zip so mm -hmm. then that we're just going to keep those um pieces away from the zip permanently once yes. we've top stitched fabulous but yep. i would definitely give it a little press just be careful it's when the tiny irons come in handy. do you want me to jump in and press for you uh no it's, it's sure? all right for this because right. i need the whole thing to go for the next yeah, yeah, thing so it's fine i'm just going to yeah loads so, of time close to the edge I tend to use, when I'm top stitching, if I'm top stitching on top of quilting, I tend to use the same stitch length that I used for the quilting. Oh, for sure. Because it just looks so nice. For it's sure. little details like that. And what length do you use for quilting? I tend to use, on this machine, I like, it works really nicely with a uh, 3.8. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I usually go between like three and a four. Yeah, three. I love a 3.8 for quilting. Mm. You get used to what you like, don't you? It's very precise, Jenny. It is. <laughs> not 3.7 and not 3.9. No. No. My machine likes equal numbers on here. When you oh, okay. when you twist the knob to go up yeah, and down, yeah. it always settles on a, um, a what's it? Yeah, I do like that with the Duke. Is I've got the UX8 and it's a <sighs> dial selection, and uh, yeah, it's a whiz. It just ooh, lovely, and it also shows you on the screen the stitch lengthening or shortening. It's all very, very high tech. I have <laughs> forgotten my fabric marking pen. Okay, we can get we, you a fabric marker. Have we got marker. like a um, a friction or something? Yeah, I'm sure Be we either. have. Right. So next stage is trimming off your zip okay so all you want do i do it now oh, thank you my love I'm just having a look at my instructions don't do what i've done order. a couple of times when you're trimming the zip 
<laughs> Have you ever done it where oh, you no. you know what I'm going to say, don't you? Where you've Not got the zip it, pole yeah. off and you just trim it off and you've got an inch of zip with a head on it and it's exactly like, why that. did they do that? So um, pop it all like right. I always don't even do it further than the middle, right. just to be safe. Yeah, and you just want to trim off that excess zip uh -huh. and if you want if you're nervous while you're doing other bits you can always just pop a little clip on the end oh, that's but a good it tip. should be absolutely fine and then just trim it off you want it all lined up if your lining has slightly moved while you've been sewing it just trim it off yep it'll be fine yeah, it all works fine. out in the end of course it does don't worry about it of course it, it does I'm in Always. love with those colours, beautiful. <laughs> but I'm equally in love with the finished one in the Emily Bell because it's so pretty, yeah. soft and feminine. Yeah, it, it reminds me of a towel my grandma used to have in Aww. her house. And I'm sure it was like hexagons or honeycombs and it was like that colour and everything. Just right. gorgeous. So the I'm next stage is put the two outer pieces right sides together just the outer pieces, mm -hmm. and you're gonna sew all the way along the bottom using the quarter inch seam allowance. Okie dokie. So when I make a box pouch, it's fully lined with no seam sewing, showing at nice. all. Nice, yeah. So it's a few more steps, but it's so worth it. For sure. Just show you the finished one. This is using the Emily Bell, which is just beautiful, isn't it? Really sort of soft and pretty. Um, great length as well. This would be absolutely perfect for storing knitting needles in those full length knitting needles. When you open it out as well, look at how much space you've got to get in. It really opens fully so you can get right in there um, to get anything out. Just love that. Really nice, easy access. I actually grabbed some knitting needles to measure just oh, to make did. sure that they would fit in. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you. You get, excuse me, in that kit, by the way, you get seven beautiful Emily Bell Fat Eights. You also get half a metre of solid for your lining. How pretty are they? and you get your pattern and your paper pieces for doing your EPP. Oh, excuse me, sorry. Leslie Joyce says, great finishing needles and also Tunisian crochet hooks. Yeah. Oh, like it. Yeah, the big, is it, is it uh, the dewy ones that they sell here? Yes, dewy they jumbo. They fit in there. Nice. So they're nice and big, Ooh, aren't they, those ones? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, my machine rulers just came Rulers as well. Oh yeah. You can and put I your rulers in there. Yeah. Rotary cutter. You could have your whole sewing kit in so there. So I brought everything in there and then I had my little tiny bits in a little um, hexy pouch I've made. Yeah, yeah. So just the little bits and bobs and then that's inside that. Well, uh, yeah, I was going to say, because it's roomy enough that if you wanted to put another bag inside, then you absolutely could. Yep. It is super roomy. It's like a TARDIS inside, in fact. You see how, and, and how you can open it right out. So you can just grab everything. Re exactly, yeah. I love that. Because often with it, like a, a slim zippy pouch, you open it and that's what you can get into. Yeah. You can't, because the zip goes to here. But because the zip goes down the sides as well, you can properly open it out. Very, very good design, love that. What I'm doing now is I'm just sewing the two lining pieces together, mm -hmm. right sides together, but in the lining piece you want to leave a turning gap. Okay. I like to leave a big old turning gap of no less than four inches. I like a big I tend old to, turning gap. It just, <laughs> just makes it easier to yeah, turn around, of course. Why make your life difficult? Exactly. And the stitches start ripping because you've not left enough room in them and stuff. Because mm. that's just unnecessary stress, isn't it? Of course it is. Nobody needs that. No so you're only doing the bottom of the bag and the bottom of the lining the, yeah. with the gap. Exactly Fran that. says this is of the uh, Emily Bell Liberty version. Yeah. Not usually a fan of pastel colours, but those are lovely. I, I'm not a major pastel person. I'm very bright. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Debatable. <laughs> bright colours. <laughs> so, um, yeah. But that those a, are... Yeah. It's Liberty for you, I isn't got, it? I got the... Um, um, they sent me fabrics to choose from. Uh -huh. 
and I saw the liberties and automatically I saw the pastels and the darks and I mm. thought two projects perfect. Mm. Done. Also I would say just to echo Fran's words I bet a lot of you are thinking well I'm not normally a fan of solids but that yeah. has made me rethink that so it's all about how you yeah, use them. Yeah exactly that. Right next stage this is the bit that takes a bit of time this is why I'm not sure we'll get the poof done at all. Um, if you want to add little pulleys mm -hmm. you can instructions on how to make them are in the pattern you just fold it in half and you want to line that up with the bottom seam that you've mm -hmm. just sewn and then you're going to take that to the zip mm -hmm. and line it up so you've got the bottom seam of the outside that you just sewed the tab the zip and then you're going to take the bottom seam of the lining that you've sewn and bring that up mm -hmm. to meet the zip yes so they all meet in the middle and bung a clip on there i've seen box pouches where you have to bind all the seams yes once you've made the bag this isn't like that no this is this like, is a, like a normal bag pouch with... that you would get with the proper lining yeah yeah like it's it. quite a few steps but i love it so the next stage what i might do is actually just show you how to do one end yeah of the pouch yeah awesome because whatever you do this end you repeat that end perfect so then we'll get further along yes please so now i want to sew you're going to sew four lines in total now all separately so mm -hmm. you've got one two three four pieces so let's start here you're going to sew a quarter of an inch all the way as close to the zipper tape as you can get but not over the zipper tape oh you so literally to this point to here. that point there okay. where the zipper tape is and you're gonna do that on all four so the two outside um the outside pieces and the two lining pieces obviously you repeat this at the other end so what you want to do you might want to remove your clip so you can see where you're going to I suppose I you could always put a little spot with a friction pen oh, if you wanted to, yeah. couldn't you? You could hand baste it together yeah. with some big old tacking stitches. Big old and tacking then stitches. Big old tacking stitches. And then once you've done that, you want to just pop that back on so it doesn't move mm -hmm. while you're getting ready to sew your next bit. So each time, you want to make sure you don't sew over the zipper tape. Just as close to. So now I'm going to do the same that I just did on one of the lining pieces. So you're just keeping all four separate. Okay. So both sides of the zip, outer both sides of the zip, lining pieces, completely separate. I'm just gonna take that off, get to Kat the zip. Kat says, lovely project, Jenny. I love your demonstrations. Oh, thank you. Yay. Leslie Joyce says, I'm busy making Jenny Jackson's hexy zippy slip pouch using my scrap bits of, bits of fabric, enjoying it. Oh, thank you. Love that project. Lovely, yeah. Oh, good. All your projects are great. <laughs> so I've done these two. I am going to do the other two because we need to get to that stage before we can do the next bit. Mm. So I've moved everything to the other side so it's out the way because you don't want to sew them all together. I'm going to see where my zipper tape is. It doesn't have to be right up to touching. So long as you've got your quarter inch seam allowances fine, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. then you're going to be okay. okay. So then what have we done? I've got this one that still needs it. Oh, I've moved me... Um, Moved my tab. The tabs are optional though, like I said before. You don't mm. have to add the pulley tabs. I just think they're handy when you're opening the zip. Yeah. You just grab it, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Here we go. Right. So I'm just adding. I would say I'm not just for quickness. Do back stitch. Just secure those threads a bit. Oh, I've not got any thread in the machine. That is Murphy's Law. Isn't it? Isn't just? it? To come and threaded. Yeah. Details on screen, by the way, are for the Liberty Emily Bell selection. You get all of your fabrics and your lining fabrics and your pattern and pattern pieces, all of your your uh, paper, single figures on that. The solids sold out. Oh, 
more in baskets there's one not checked out there's literally one left of the solids do check out that basket um, sold out with pattern pieces the pattern with pattern pieces yeah Sorry. Don't forget as well, we've got a second project from Jenny, which is the poof. I'm just going to show you that again. Just want to remind you, we want to show you as much as we possibly can, of course. So the second uh, project is the English paper piecing poof. Now we've got a Liberty version. Details are on screen for $39.99. Uh, very, very popular this one, most popular. We're in Teams Liberty or Team Solids. You get a meter of Imperial Purple. This is the solid that you're gonna use for the sides and the base of your poof. And then you've got seven Emily Bell Fat Eights of quilt weight cotton fabric to do your paper piecing. You've also got your full instructions, brilliant instructions as always from Jenny. And then you've got all of the paper pieces that you'll need to complete your EPP, all for $39.99. So that's the Emily Bell version, the Liberty version. If you made the lampshade last month that used all those gorgeous green solids, um, Jenny's done a colorway of the poof to coordinate with that. And that's this one right here. So you've got all different solids of green. You're gonna use these for your EPP. And then you've got this beautiful solid green for the sides and the base, complete with pattern and pattern pieces. $32.99 for that. Jenny. I'm wondering Go on. if, as I'm up next week, I'm wondering if we can squeeze the poof demo in next week so that we get a good... Yeah, that would yeah. be nice. Because I'm on my second hour is a catch-up show of my previous oh, patterns. Oh, okay. Doing loads of different so bits and Sunday. bots. that's next That's next Sunday Lovely. after the FPP. So I'm thinking I could probably well, bring I it up. I'll message them. Get your kit now yeah. so you've got it ready. And then actually you should get it home before next Sunday. That's true. You can sew along. <laughs> yeah, I'm just wondering. I'll message them and see because it would be a shame not to... Can we just recap what you fill it with? Um, oh, also Collector in Northumberland says, will you be bringing back the lampshade as I missed out? Oh, shoe. Oh, w which colourway? In the solid colourway? Or there was a solid. There was, and there a, was solid a solid Alison Glass. Alison Glass, that's right. Message me and I will find out from if there are okay. any and it's Great. just dropped off the website. Mm -hmm. Right. And as far as filling the poof goes. Toy stuffing, pellets. Polystyrene pellets. Yeah. Wait, you can use some old weighted towels, and a mix, old towels, fabric scraps. Duvet, things like that, yeah, cool. Rip okay, a pillow great. open, yep. shove it in. <laughs> Lovely. Right, so I've done all four. The lining pieces, see either side of the zip. So you've got four bits. Mm -hmm. So now you want to sew through all the layers. So where you stopped sewing, right. so just over it, all the way across the tab, across oh, the zipper tape okay. now. Okay, that's the only so bit then you sew. So all through it now. Oh. So you just want to make sure they're all joining. If you haven't, like for example, there I've stopped further back than that one. Mm -hmm. So just start from your further back one. Okay. Mm -hmm. And just sew across there. So you want to quarter of an inch still, but now you're going to sew across all of the pieces. Okay. And kind of join up the gap. Exactly that. You don't really ideally want any gap. Has it done it again? Well, it's not happy with me, is it? Does it keep on unthreading? Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Well, well it's because you want to get lots shown. That's it. When you want to get stuff done. Yeah. It's like, no. I know. I'm going to mess with you. I'm always like that when I'm on a really tight deadline and I'm like, I've got like nothing on the bobbin and I think I've only got two inches of binding yeah. left to sew please laugh and then it doesn't yeah and I have to wind a whole bobbin exactly right. it's enough to drive you mad isn't it right here we go so I'm just sewing across all the layers so everything you've seen me do so far you're going to repeat the exact same yeah on the other end of the pouch yeah okay so now they're pretty much all joined up. Okay, there. good. Keeping. So now we want to box the corners. So that, let's pretend that's all done. Mm -hmm. So 
what you want to do is I'm just going to check if there's like... Oh, so you would do up to that stage on the other end yeah, now. Yeah, as well. And then box the corners together. Afterwards, yeah. But it wouldn't matter if you did these two oh, ends. Oh, no, you could do you that can still completely. Do it. Okay. It's just, if you start boxing these, it's going to pull on the fabric. Yeah. So it's going to be less straight. So Understood. I would say do both ends before yeah. you go to box the corners. Mm -hmm. So what you want to do is you want to measure a two inch square. Mm -hmm. Right, but it's from, it might be easier to show on the lining piece than it is on mm -hmm. the, um, you want two inch from the bottom and two inch from your sewn mark. Oh, uh, from the seam allowance. From the seam allowance, gotcha. okay. So not two inch from the edge. No. Two inch from your seam and two inch from the bottom. Am gotcha. I actually about to draw red on pink? I was just thinking of all the colours we could have found for you. <laughs> uh, you can see that, Jenny. You can indeed gonna get my fabric scissors I like to cut use fabric scissors to cut box corners out mm -hmm. not rotary cutters because mm -hmm. I always end up going a bit further along oh yeah so and it's always more than a quarter of an inch always <laughs> so I'm just gonna do this <clears throat> done that as well did you did you no you haven't have you? yeah oh Jenny it's the daisy <laughs> oh it all comes to it oh dear Right, and then you're going to do this Remember on the... Remember the first rule of quilting, Jenny. What's the first rule Don't of hurt quilting? Yourself. Do not bleed on the fabric. There we go. So, you're going to do... Oh. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use that mm -hmm. as a plaster. You're all right. Yeah, I'm fine. And then you're going to cut this out as well. And you're going to keep the palms of your hands away. From the blade. <laughs> from, from your yes. scissors. Mm -hmm. I don't remember the last time I cut myself with a pair of scissors. It's been a long time. There we go. Just going to make sure that's all snipped. So you're going to do that, these sides as well. So mm -hmm. when you're boxing the corners together, it's just your normal standard, box yep. standard boxing. So you're going to take two pieces. They're all separate, so you have four box corners yep. in the end. So you're going to take your lining, the square that I've just made, and you're just as simple as pulling it together. Yep. So the whole thing's going to get a bit bendy. Jenny, do you want me to sew those while we get your plaster for your finger? It's, it's, it's my palm. It's not going to even do work with the plaster. Do you want me to do it while, you, while we, you're sure? So, okay. I'm going to show you the outside. The okay. inside is a bit more fiddly. There we go. That's much better to show. So yeah. the lining is a lot more fiddly to box, mm -hmm. but it's still fine. Mm -hmm. There we go. So you just put the two corners together. I would say clip or pin these so they don't start moving around. Yep. Because no one needs that. And again, then it's as simple as quarter of an inch seam allowance all the way across. Great. You can open those seam allowances out, <coughs> push them to the side. It really is not going to so make a So you do that eight times, four times on the outside outer, and four, four times, times on, the, on lining. the lining and then actually once you've done that it's just okay oh back stitch as well definitely back stitch on these don't all your corners might come undone mm -hmm. so once you've done all that you're done you just turn it out okay it made it That's through it. the gap that you left through in your the lining. gap that you made, left in the lining and then you can either do a little hand ladder stitch closed or you can, I just pop it on the machine and run oh, it across. So cool. It's so cool. So it's can such you a see cool method. Yeah, can you see it's boxing now already? So then the out, this one, if I cut this, that would be boxed. And then it all just, it's just a fully lined and it's so simple mm. because the way I add the zip, easy. Mm. And then if you can see here, <clears throat> yeah, there you go. If you look down, <laughs> you can see, oh, you won't be able to see yeah. that. It's going to be too dark. But you can always you already see yeah it's boxing inside yeah and you've got your tab in there and everything so awesome it's, it's really easy because it's big as well it's less fiddly mm -hmm. the smaller the box pouch in this method mm -hmm. the more fiddly sure but, but for like something I this said, size it's quite straightforward yeah like i said this is boxing the lining mm -hmm. you just pull it up you just manipulate that fabric just so that just get those corners out really that's all it is and just pin it they go and that would be the box one going across so yeah super mm -hmm. it looks Fab. so much harder than it is it looks it looks really yeah. cleverly put together to me and it looks very easy and straightforward yeah. and the EPP is so simple awesome. um, you can look back at my past shows for how to EPP
Great. As such, I've got loads of them. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Loads of resources. Yeah. Um, thank you so much, Jenny. It's my pleasure. Um, beautiful. And um, we will demo we'll do that, that next, next Sunday. Sunday. I don't see why not. I'm yeah. sure we can squeeze that in. Fantastic. Just make sure you get your kit for the poof so that you'll be ready for next Sunday. Yeah. And then you could actually sew along with Jenny. Do you your EPP could. this week. You literally could. could probably do it quicker. Yeah. Well, if you've done the EPP. Yeah. Like it's so, it comes together like that. Brilliant. I love that. Yeah. I love that. Okay. Now, just want to remind you, we've got the Liberty version of the long box pouch from Jenny Jackson still in stock. Just a few of these left it's just in stock you get seven fat eighths of beautiful pastel rainbow ebony bell florals for your EPP you get half a meter of chambray cotton solid from Rose and Hubble for the lining and then you also get your full instructions and you also get lots of EPP shapes you reuse these you've got lots but you yeah, reuse yeah. these and of course when you finish the project keep these because you reuse these when you make your next pouch um Jenny am I right is there a template inside the pattern for the EPP no, shape so we just draw around one you can just draw around them but honestly you can use each of those templates Loads. eight or more times brilliant because they really are a brilliant quality yeah they're fine fantastic thank you so much check out your basket if you've got the emily bell because that's going to sell out too and i don't want you to miss out that's everything jenny when are you back sunday next sunday ah, next okay. sunday you're not back sooner than that no sorry about that no. <laughs> Well, fabulous. I shall be able to relax at home in my PJs and watch you. you. Will. So I'll give you a wave. Thanks, babe. Thanks, you Jenny. Safe soon. journey home. Thank you. Now we'll take you straight off to um, health and safety now to have a chat <laughs> with you about scissors. Oh, bless her. She's all right. You're all right. I'm absolutely you? fine. Gorgeous. All right. Okay, we're going to go for a little break now. Um, and then when we come back, we've got our final hour here on Sewing Street. We'll be looking at tools. I'll see you after this. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. 
Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. of Sewing Street, why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Oh, love seeing Jenny Jackson and brilliant news. She will be doing the uh, EPP poof next Sunday. So I'll be able to tune in from home and watch that. Make sure you do too. Get your kit now and then you'll be able to sew along with her next week. And also well done everyone who's managed to get hold of her sew a row for June or even those of you who are starting right back at January. Well done if you've got yours. Now, this hour is all about tools. I can't really start without mentioning our tool of the day, the tool of the hour in fact, which is our Beldre 4-in-1 Climate Dome. Now it should be £99.99, you're saving £40 today. Um, 
which is a bit odd isn't it really because it's boiling hot it's a heat wave and we're selling a fan I mean no surprise there but that we're knocking 40 pounds off when you really need a fan that's the bit that doesn't make sense but hey it's been the same price since January so that's what we do here now the Beldre 4-in-1 climate dome does cooling so at the moment it's on its lowest setting and it's almost soundless it's very very quiet got a gorgeous gentle breeze now like I said earlier on if you were lying on a beach in Jamaica the sun's beating down the sky is blue it's absolutely beautiful you're in heaven except there is no breeze whatsoever uh, I'd be packing up and going into the shade because it would be too much for me however if this the lowest setting breeze started blowing in off the sea I would truly be in heaven because this is just what you need to cool you down and that's at the lowest setting now it's actually got two higher settings than that so if you really need to cool a room down quickly go straight to the fastest setting this obviously isn't as quiet at its fastest setting and I wouldn't have it on the fastest setting at night I'd have it on the lowest setting but that is absolutely beautiful um, you can have the light on or off if you want to turn the light off then just hold the fan button down and the light will go off hold down on the fan button again for a few seconds it'll beep and come back on now we've also got heating so if I go to heating you've got a little remote control so this is this makes it year round because we've now got a heating fan so we can warm ourselves up if we prefer to so in the autumn in the winter even on those cool nights in the spring and summer where we need an extra bit of extra warmth but you don't want to put the central heating on or light a fire use your bell tray to warm the air instead also if you've been doing something like decorating in a room and you want to kind of dry out the paint or plaster work um, you could use this if a room's been a bit sort of closed up for a few weeks or months and just needs a bit of a freshen up pop it on either on the cooling or the warming um, add some water to the reservoir it has a little reservoir down here okay that you can pop some water into you can even put a few drops of essential oils and then freshen up the room uh, give it a little airing um, a little airing and then it will smell much fresher uh, this also humidifies the room so like for example in the winter if you're feeling a bit stuffed up a little bit of water in there to humidify the air can often help a uh, bit of eucalyptus as well a little bit of eucalyptus oil again just can help to freshen things up a little bit um, again on the heating you've got three different settings gorgeous warm air coming out of there but again it's really quiet um, I use it if I've had got wet dog wet cat that you need to dry off instead of trying to use a hair dryer just some lovely warm air just to dry off wet fur I'm gonna go back to cooling oh that's lovely absolutely gorgeous it's so quiet as well okay message across the bottom hi Stuart bought this the last time it was on it's proved to be invaluable in this heat uh, very impressed with this lavender and peppermint gives a lovely smell I think I should say it gives a low yeah it got a bit cut off but lavender and peppermint lovely absolutely gorgeous you can also as well of course use just um, like scented oils so not things you'd necessarily put on your skin but just scented oils a little bit of that just a centre room as well just lovely just create a nice cooling air or a warming air 
or use it as a humidifier just to increase the humidity a little bit if it's feeling very very dry um, you can use it with or without the light the lights easy to turn off you just keep your finger on the fan button hold it down and the light will switch off hold it down again and the light will come back on you've also got a mood light button you can switch between the red and the blue have whatever you prefer now a few price comparisons we've got curries first of all this is curries 69.99 however it's out of stock so that's no good but lots of people did buy it from curries and they paid 10 pounds more than you need to um, we've got another one for you this time it's on amazon 74 pounds and 50 pence <coughs> Now, um, it is in stock, and if you've got Prime, you'll get free delivery. Marvellous. But you're paying £74.50, so suddenly free delivery doesn't actually mean anything. And they've only got two left, £74.50 from Amazon. One more. This is the range. This is the, ra the range is my go-to if I want to find something cut price. Uh, not today. Not today, because... Um, it's out of stock and it's also 99.99 um, they could email you when it's back in stock but um, no thanks I'm just going to get mine from Sewing Street today and I'm going to get it for 59.99 and save myself a whole chunk of moolah split pay as well if you want it um, we've only got split pay because it should be 99.99 but the split pays have stayed on even though we've dropped the price by 40 pounds so your first split pay just 29.99 what price a great night's sleep in lovely cool air but how does 29.99 sound beautiful what about lovely and warm in the winter quiet adjustable you can also have it on um moving fan so whether it's warm or cool you can have it moving from side to side as well which is rather lovely carolyn's got in touch from the west midlands to say i have this dome my little pooch loves it too take a look at the back there's a little sponge compartment for your essential oils i was going to show you that got them little sponges here so i'm going to turn it off for a second so here on the back there's a little, little locking mechanism on the back. So if you twist that and it comes out, there's your little sponge, okay? So you can put a few drops of oil on there and then, let's try and do things back to front, clip it back into place. Now you've got one in there, two more replacements. You can just wash these out, a bit of warm soapy water, wash them out gently leave them to air dry and then you can put different fragrances on you could have one for olbus you could have one for eucalyptus peppermint what about cinnamon oil at christmas use the synthetic stuff rather than the essential oil um for cinnamon or um you can use um tea tree which has a nice sort of clean smell. If you want to freshen up a room, I'd probably go either lavender, or you could do a mixture of lavender and tea tree. Beautiful, um, just gorgeous. So yeah, easy peasy to do that. Um, and as I say, you've got that little water tank at the front as well, where you can put water in to humidify as well. It's just a brilliant product, isn't it? At a brilliant price at 59.99, you save 40 pounds. We do have them in stock over 200 of you have gone for this today please make sure you check out your baskets sooner rather than later so that you get your fan home it'll be dispatched tomorrow it'll be fantastic to stay cool in the summer and warm in the winter I love it when a product does everything I adore putting rose water in mine makes it spa like 
and lush. That's, oh, Carolyn, I like how you roll. Lavender water, that's beautiful. It's a lovely smell too. It'll just humidify, rose water. It'll just humidify the air a little bit as well, won't it? And just make it feel a little sort of moisture. Um, especially if you work in an air conditioned environment, it can be very, very drying on your skin and it can give you sort of dry, itchy eyes or perhaps if someone's suffering from uh, itchy dry eyes maybe from hay fever that little bit of extra humidity can feel really comforting for some people I love it does everything does everything apart from make a cup of tea right I'm gonna pop that to one side now um, another of my favorite products I'm just gonna whiz this on for a second this is the handheld steamer um, now I had never used a steamer before I came to work here and um, we'll just show you how you fold it away as well um, you can fold this and um, I'd never used a steamer before I came to work at Sewing Street and uh, I saw this being used here for steaming hanging quilts and I just thought well that is absolutely brilliant because you don't want to iron quilts you'll take out the lovely loft that you've got in your wadding if you've used something like a polyester batting you could even melt it not melt it like into a puddle but melt it so that it compresses and won't spring back um, but of course if you fold quilts even if you roll quilts you can end up with creases in them and how do you get the creases out well the best way is using a steamer now I'm just going to head over to my quilt here um, and just start to give it a little steam now there's a there's a method to steaming and what you want to do is you want to get some steam it's got a little brush so you can get some steam into the area that's creased and then you want to pull it down or smooth it down smooth those wrinkles out or pull the fabric out and those creases will drop out so I've got a little bit of a crease down here in the center so I'm just going to introduce some steam this just warms up the fibers and then you can just smooth out those creases it's also brilliant I take them away with me I take my steamer away when I go away I take it with me to hotel rooms because um, <coughs> it's much easier, <laughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, it's much, much easier when you've got your clothes hanging up on hangers just to go in there with a steamer and steam out any creases rather than having to iron the whole thing again. Usually the creases are just in certain places. You can also use your steamer um, to refresh clothes. So I heard a brilliant, brilliant guy talking on the radio about a year and a half, maybe two years ago, who was a laundry expert from America. And he said, you know, we all wash our clothes too high a temperature and too often we wear our clothes out long before they need to be and he said most things you can steam to refresh them to sanitize them it kills bacteria because it's the steam is hotter than boiling water it's hotter than 100 degrees so that will kill bacteria and sanitize and it will also help to kind of give the bounce back to fabric and freshen things up so they're softer again and 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 you can spot clean certain areas and then just give it a freshen 29.99 that's it 29.99 if you've never tried a steamer before give this one a go it's absolutely super brilliant for things like curtains and blinds as well which are hanging uh single figures of this one left if you want to grab your steamer and this is a folding steamer so it's ideal for taking away when you're traveling as well as keeping at home one top tip though when you are taking it away and traveling make sure you empty out the water don't leave water in it when you travel and when you've got your you've emptied it out put it on steam and keep it on steaming until nothing's coming out so clear all the water out i mean really this is exactly what you do with your steam iron with your aliso with any steam iron when you put it away tip the water out and then blasts of steam until nothing else comes out use the squirter until nothing else comes out 
and then store it. Never store them with water. That steamer now has sold out. Well done if you managed to get yours. Now, another really, really cool tool is the Beldre Wet and Dry Vacuum. This is $34.99. Now, this comes with a wall bracket. So this is your charger. So you've got a wall bracket and fix that to a wall inside a cupboard or in the kitchen maybe or in your craft room. This is brilliant. I mean, we all vacuum once we've finished sewing, right? We all clear our mess up, all those bits of thread. Good, well done. Uh, <laughs> plug this in and then you've got a little socket there which you're going to hang your vacuum on the wall so it's always charged and always ready to go. And you don't have to but it's what it's there for. Um, then at the moment I've got the um, wet attachment added so the only thing you have to change between wet and dry is you've got this little short attachment this is for spills so if you spilled a cup of tea if the dogs come in and he's dripping water and you've got a puddle on the floor you can suck the water or the tea or whatever spills that is brilliant power really good it will go into this tank. Now, um, in an ideal world, you want to empty out any dry bits from this before you suck up liquids, because otherwise the liquid, of course, is going to mix with those solids and make a soggy mess. So you're better off quickly emptying it and then get, um, just suck up the, the, the liquid spill. So it might be wine, it might be tea, it might be water. Um, uh, suck that up. There's a maximum for your liquid so once you've got to this point just stop, empty it out and then you can carry on vacuuming. Um, for your dry, for your things like your um, might be thread off the floor, it might be dry spills, it might be just things like vacuuming the stairs or you know or on your craft chair where you've just got little bits of thread suck you've got a detailing nozzle um, no one wants to be carrying a vacuum up and down the stairs and actually I'm sure she won't mind me mentioning one of our lovely viewers emailed it and I think it was yesterday and bless her she had taken a tumble down the stairs with her vacuum cleaner and slid down on her bottom she sent me a message to say I'm absolutely fine I'm okay but this has just happened so I hope you're feeling okay today I bet you're feeling a bit bruised and achy aren't you but hopefully um, feeling okay but you know it is I don't like carrying the vacuum cleaner up and down the stairs I always make Charlie do it and um, that's the honest truth um, but yeah really good uh, and rechargeable so no wires to worry about when you're using this so you can literally charge it up take it anywhere and then this is your detailer you can actually take that out and just use it as it is and really good Hannah's just said, how does Charlie put up with you? Very easily. He knows what the alternative's like. <laughs> He's living a dream. He's living a dream. It's our 20th anniversary this year. 20 years. I know. I know. Absolutely wonderful. 20 wonderful years too, I might add. Absolutely wonderful. Um, right. So that is our Beldre wet and dry vacuum. Yeah, I'll mention these. They're not just for picking up with a vacuum cleaner. These are ace. These are prim ironing rulers. I'm a huge fan of these. They're ace. So what you do, you've got a large and a small. And essentially they are for turning perfect hems. Thank you. They're for turning perfect hems. Just need a little iron, please. I've got a little 
ironing pad here I've got the binding express um, actually I'll just show you what you would do so what you would do if you want to turn a perfect hem is you just you're right don't worry um, you just find the line that you want to do if it's a one centimeter hem or a two centimeter hem and you line your fabric up to that line and then iron it against these are um, heat safe rulers so you iron it up if you're doing a corner of course you can also fold in your corner as well and get a perfect crisp clean corner um, great for things like waistbands hemlines also brilliant for bag making as well and also for patchwork because if you want to fold your binding tape in half you can fold it over the larger ruler and get a perfect neat press so that your binding really is the perfect width all the way along love these i'm um, down to single figures i think single figures on that uh, 8 dollars it's one of those great little tools that um, you'll get and then you'll think actually you know what love that thank you now I've been using the quilt binding express just to show you as a little ironing pad so you can use this as a, just a little mini ironing pad if you want to but it is the quilt binding express and you can use this to make two inch binding, two and a quarter inch binding, or two and a half inch binding strips. And what you do, um, Kat, would you mind just grabbing me a jelly roll strip, please? So I can show you with a two and a half inch wide strip. Um, what you've got here is you've got some little slots of different widths. And, and absolutely, this is not a two and a half inch wide strip here. This is a one and a quarter inch wide strip because what you're going to do is you're going to feed your binding strip through that. Thank you, Kat. You're going to feed your binding strip through that. So fold it in half and just make a little finger press to start with. Feed that through the correct slot, depending on what width binding you're making. And that is going to guide your fabric through to make perfectly pressed two and a half inch wide binding. So what you're then going to do, you're going to get a bit of a production line going here. So you're going to have your iron right here. You're going to pull your binding onto the board. You've also got your lines here. You're then going to press your binding and then you're going to continue to pull it through keep those edges together keep pulling it through and keep pressing you'll get perfect binding however much you're doing just keep pulling it through keep pulling it through and you're getting that perfect binding I just think that's a brilliant little tool. Now you've got your two and a half inch mark there, but you've also got two and a quarter inch binding, which a lot of American patterns use two and a quarter inch binding or two inch binding. Oh, bless you, it was Sue. Yeah, Sue, thank you for messaging in because I've been wondering how you've been getting on. She says, I'm absolutely fine, a tiny carpet burn, but nothing else. I do hope you've seen that reel of the flying squirrel staging his death scene with a broom across his chest. I ended up on the floor with the cleaner on my chest, just like him. Oh, Sue, Sue, I want to give you a hug, you poor thing, but just a little carpet burn. Big kiss, big kiss. It's not great, it's not great. Um, yeah, okay, that's your Quilt Binding Express. I've also got the big cut and press from June Taylor. We love the, I love everything that does more than one job. I love the Beldre, it does four in one. I love the Quilters Cut and Press. It does, well, officially two brilliant jobs, but it does more than that. So your Quilters Cut and Press from June Taylor is this gorgeous, big, firm pressing surface on one side. You can see it's gridded.
we've got circles we've got angle lines super useful on the other side we have got a cut resistant cutting mat so this isn't a self-healing cutting mat it's cut resistant so when you cut against this rather than it's sort of cutting and then sort of healing it doesn't it just resists the cuts it's really, really hard, great for cutting out on, really good size too, 18 inches by 12 inches cutting surface. Now also at the top, you've got a handle, so you can store it, you can hang it up, it'll hang nicely on the wall. I wouldn't normally say hang cutting mats on the wall, but because this is bonded to the pressing mat, absolutely fine to do that also brilliant for taking might i say a little smugly to workshops and classes because rather than having to share the ironing board and the cutting mat with other people you've got your own and really really good size now i mentioned that i think it does more than two jobs cut and press because this big surface here is absolutely brilliant for things like um, uh, using the grid to make sure that your blocks are the right size. <coughs> now, you know, even with the best piecing and cutting, your block or unit might need encouraging to be the right size. So sometimes our units are just a tiny bit skew width or a tiny bit too small. So if that's the case, put them down on the grid. This grid's really accurately screen printed. Pop it down on the grid and then press it and ease it to meet the grid lines. Use a little bit of steam and if you need to, even bob a couple of pins in at the corners just to hold it give it 20 seconds to cool down in position and then take it off um, and it'll be the correct size now sometimes our quilt blocks are a little bit shall we say poofy in the center often where we've got lots of seams coming together and these need flattening down so again get your block pin it to the correct size pin around the top a bit like you're blocking needlework uh, not needlework um knitting or crochet okay and then give it a spritz with some spray starch okay and then flatten the block down against the pressing mat to flatten out the center you can also use a little bit of heat and a little bit of steam from your iron but often just giving it a spritz of spray starch or best press and just leaving it on a surface it'll just flatten down um, I love them. I love them. A nice message across the bottom. I found this very useful for blocking knitting. It's a fantastic product from Carolyn in the West Midlands. Thanks, Carolyn. I forgot to say that. Of course, use it for knitting. Use it for crochet. You've got those um, inch marks on there. Use them. Absolutely brilliant stuff. Another message, this is about the Beldre fan. Good afternoon to the best presenter ever, Fiona. Thank you, darling. That's really kind. I bought Beldre, the Beldre Dome from Sewing Street, but can't turn the light off when using the fan at night. Let me show you how. I only learned this today because one of our other wonderful viewers emailed in to tell me. So all you have to do, so you've got your little buttons on the top. And all I'm going to do, this one right in the middle that has the fan icon on it, just put your finger on and press gently and it beeps and the light goes out. Hold your finger down on that same button, it beeps and the light comes back on. So it's this one right here. There you go. So you're going to have a great night's sleep tonight because it's going to be cool, there's going to be air in the room and there won't be that light shining that you don't want. Let me know that you've got it working. Let me know that it worked for you. All right, awesome. Thanks for messaging in. Do you know, it's the thing I love most about doing live television. I can talk to you, you can talk to me. If you've got a question, a comment, a tip, something I didn't know, you can message in. I love it. I love it. Yes, a slight change of direction, but a lovely one. 
Now, um, one of my most favourite people in the quilting industry, I always love running into at shows, her and her husband, uh, Susan Briscoe and Glyn, her husband. Love the pair of them, they're terrific. And um, Susan, I always call, you know, the queen of Sashko. Uh, she's an absolutely brilliant Sashko tutor and author and a real expert on this beautiful, beautiful art form quilting form. Now this is Susan's brand new book, it's called Sashko 365 and as the name suggests you get a new Sashko pattern for every day of the year and it really is an encyclopedia of Sashko uh, which is beautiful running stitch quilting embroidery from Japan. Now there are lots and lots of traditional patterns um, so as a resource it's unparalleled I think just stunning and uh, um, all of the traditional names are given as well plus their translation and very importantly for each one of the patterns you've got the grid that you need to mark, most of them are, are, are marked on the fabric by marking a grid first, just using something like a chalk pencil and a ruler, um, sometimes a circle template. Now, I completely forgot to mention this morning, our early bird today is a set of nine perspex circle templates from one inch up to five inches with the half inch increments as well. That would be brilliant. It should be $19.99. It's $12.99 today. It's our early bird. And that would be brilliant. I wish I'd thought of that earlier. Brilliant for Sashko. Anyway, um, so for each pattern, Susan explains the direction and the order of stitching for how you create it. Because although when you look, it, you can see lines, often it's not stitched in the order that it looks. So just beautiful. There are easy patterns to do. There are more complex patterns. You can see here, these are all marked out using circle templates. You see here, look, for this one, use a one and a half inch circle template to mark the pattern. Well, you get a one and a half inch circle in your template set. You get that. So that's absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And then what Susan's done in the book. Oh, see, look at these lovely designs. I love the clamshells and the waving grasses. <clears throat> you could use these as quilting patterns as well. A lot of them could be used for hand or machine. You could mark them on a quilt and then quilt them out. But what Susan's done, which is magnificent, is she's created this quilt. Now, I'm lucky enough to have seen this quilt in person but this is 365 Sashko samples, all made up with sashing fabrics between them into this quilt. Um, Susan brought it to the studio and we hung it up in the studio for her launch show and it was magnificent. It is magnificent. And um, if you see Susan at one of the shows, she's at a lot of the consumer shows, um, I think she maybe takes this with her sometimes so you can see it in person. But you could make your own version of this or a wall hanging, maybe three wide and six deep or seven deep, I'd do a wall hanging. You could make cushions. You could even use this in clothing. Thing. Fab. Look at that, that quilt on the back. And this rainbow ombre sashing that she's used is gorgeous. She's very clever. I did a workshop with Susan and she had two Sashko teachers over from Japan as well um, at the NEC so many years ago, so many years ago. And um, it was just lovely. And I didn't know Susan then, but she's a great teacher, a very generous teacher as well. Great author, love it, love it. Okay, grab yourself a copy of that. Um, Stripology, yeah, stripology. Now, actually, this, this is a good time to mention, thank you, Kat. 
Um, this is the Stripology Squared. I'm just going to take this opportunity to mention one of my projects from tomorrow's show. At 10 o'clock tomorrow, we're going to be doing the Cobblestone Cabin Quilt. Now, it's made using strips and squares, lots of strips and squares, okay? This is the kind of project that if you've got a stripology or a stripology squared ruler, you will thank your lucky stars. You'll be sewing this in no time. Because <laughs> this is a gorgeous block to make. It's all strips and squares, which are cut from strips, of course. Um, nothing else. So your stripology squared really comes into its own and you get the large version, which is a super large block. I'll tell you all the dimensions tomorrow, but you also get in the same pattern, the half size block, which is absolutely amazing for using up your scraps and your leftovers. Now you can use the smaller block to make cushions, runners, uh, pillows, bags, but you can also use these blocks to create a full-size quilt as well. You just got to remember that four of these blocks sewn together make one of those big blocks. So it just increases the possibilities for your quilt making like tenfold, a hundredfold. Um, stripology, perfect for either of those. So if you've never used a stripology before, this is the basic principle. So rather than having a ruler on top of your fabric that you then cut and move the ruler over and cut again, and move the ruler, read the measurements, make sure you're on the right line, cut again, and it's all quite laborious. With your stripology, you have your cutting mat down first, your fabric on top, and then you lay this right over the top of your fabric. You've got slots all along the bottom at half inch increments with a little teardrop shape which allows you to get your rotary cutter into the slot. This slot then runs all the way through so you then push your rotary cutter through a slot up to the top it holds your blade in exactly the right position to make the perfect cut and you can trim the wobbly edge off your fabric here then you can just start cutting your strips and rather than having to move the ruler you can keep cutting strip after strip after strip the only time you need to move it is when you get to the last uh, slot here and then you move the whole thing over and then you can carry on or sorry this way and then you can carry on cutting more strips uh, they are an absolute boon I'm going to be using one tomorrow while I'm demoing that block so um, yeah grab yours now um, 52.99 now you can cut strips and squares but you can also cut diamonds, triangles, hexagons. You can also use the squared, stripology squared. Do you see these black lines that go out? You can use these for squaring up quilt blocks or for cutting large squares as well. Fabulous, fabulous. Big square ruler next, fab, thank you. Sue's got in touch to say, I have a couple of French general jelly rolls. Do you know how I can find, thank you. Do you know how I can find the coordinating cream or fawn or is this something customer service can help with? Um, well, Sue, you could try customer service, definitely. They would be able to do a search for you or you can search online on Sewing Street. If you put in French General in the search engine, everything will come up that's French General. You can also search by colors. Um, uh, what I would say is, generally speaking, when we have ranges in, they come in as a range. And if we've got the cream, we've got the cream with that range. Often those neutrals sell out and when they've gone, they've gone. And that's the same um, the world over with quilting fabrics. They don't, very, very rare that they get reprinted. Sometimes, you know, luminaries like K for Tula will reprint an old range, you know, bring it back, kind of revisited, but it's very rare. Um, what I would say is, 
that actually um, you can team all sorts of different creams and tans and beiges and ecrus very very nicely with your French General and your quilt will be better for it to actually add a little bit of something that isn't French General because it's lovely to have all those colours coordinating but it's also lovely just to have a little spice a little lighter a little darker a little brighter than perhaps everything else just to add that glisten and glow hope that's helpful but definitely ring customer service all right next up then we've got our large square ruler you know i'm a fan you know i'm a fan um, yes, first ruler for everyone should be a 6 by 24 or a 6.5 by 24.5 inch ruler. That is a given. Your next ruler after that depends what you do, but I think most quilters benefit from a large square ruler. And there are a few reasons for that. So I've got here the 20 and a half inch square Creative Grids ruler, which is the largest one that they do. Um, it has all the benefits of your regular Creative Grids rulers. So it has really clear marking in both black and white. It's also got non, a non-slip edge, okay, that runs two inches, uh, sorry, half an inch around these two sides and a quarter of an inch around these two sides, okay. It's also got numerous non-slip spots on the back of the ruler, on the diagonals and around the edges. This means that when you put it on fabric, it grips and it's not going to slip and slide. You've got that strong diagonal line there and you've got markings right the way from one and a half inches to two and a half, three and a half, right up to 20 and a half inches. So, if you're cutting strips, squares, rectangles, triangles, you can do all of that with this ruler. If you're cutting large squares, say for example, you wanna make 12 inch finished half square triangles, yeah? You can lay your fabric up, you can put your ruler on top, and then you can cut your 12 and a half inch square in one go, easy. Do the two sides, flip your ruler around, do the remaining two sides. Uh, you can't do that with your 12 and a half by six and a half or your 24 and a half inch ruler. So you can do that with your large ruler, cut your background squares, cut your squares for half square triangles. You can also square up your blocks and your units. You can also use this for things like bag making. So for example, I do a really nice messenger bag, which is um, 15 and a half or 15 inches wide, and it's about 10 inches deep. Um, and usually with a regular ruler, you have to do all kinds of manipulations and twists and turns with your ruler. With this, of course, you'll get most bag pieces out in one hole, you know what I mean, without having to keep moving the ruler around. Um, the other time when I use my ruler like this is when I am trimming and squaring up a quilt. So in order to get nice, strong, square, neat corners, once you've quilted your quilt, you're going to lay it down on a cutting mat and you're going to place your large square ruler on top. You're going to line up the edge of your ruler along the top, but also along the sides with the top edge of your quilt, and the side of your quilt. And what I also like to do is make sure that piecing lines or border lines are also lined up with lines on my square. I can then get it as straight and square as possible and then I will trim off the excess batting and backing. And sometimes as well, a little of the top fabric that's perhaps shifted or moved as I've been quilting, that will get trimmed off too. And what you end up then with is a beautiful square quilt. What a lot of people will do when they trim their quilts is just use their thin ruler, they'll put it on the side, they just line up the side with a straight and cut. And actually this way, you've got 20 and a half inches lined up along the top and you've got 20 and a half inches lined up on the side. And that way you're gonna get the most square cut ever.
really worth treating yourself to that really worth treating yourself and of course you can cut everything from 20 and a half inch right down to a one and a half inch square all right thank you cat okay yeah the binding buddy the binding buddy thank you this is from june taylor as well so this is a two and a half inch wide rotary cutting ruler uh so also great for cutting out jelly roll strip your own jelly roll strips to call so i'm thinking sue if you've got lots of french general jelly rolls you could get yourself three four ten fat quarters, half meters, whatever your bag is, of different cream fabrics. Use your June Taylor Binding Buddy to cut yourself your two and a half inch strips and then mix and match them with your jelly rolls. Now this has also got a 45 degree line, I'll just show you here, a 45 degree angle at the end. So you can use that to mark your diagonal seams for when you're joining your binding. You can also use this if you're somebody that joins the two ends of binding together. Um, you can use this to mark that diagonal so you get a perfect diagonal join on your binding for $24.99. Twist and stitch. Twist and stitch. Yep. Uh, <coughs> Have we got time just to do a quick Pinterest search of twist and stitch just to show you what you can make with this um, I've done a few demos of this I did one about maybe 10 days ago showing you how to use this but essentially you piece together lots of squares in rows and then you put a board around the outside you get the recipes for loads of different sizes a three and a half inch block a five inch a six and a half an eight inch and a ten and a half inch block and you can do them all with this ruler and once you've done that you then go in you line up the cross with the piecing lines and then you've got slots just like the um stripology ruler and you cut cut twist the ruler again line up the cross and then you cut cut and then that cuts a square out that has almost like a little twisted windmill on it and then you repiece them together and you can make the most amazing quilts do you see this right here it's very very small but this is a really nice example and literally all you have to do is sew squares together no worries no worries we'll just give you a quick we're struggling to find you other images but just to show you this you just see it sewn together that's how they look together sewn together and you think oh no that looks really really complex do i have to use templates you don't it's such a clever method i love it it's great fun too right last thing i'm going to show you is this gorgeous fat quarter bundle it's called arcadia they are the most beautiful colors well i've got two things actually i've got the tilda as well um really beautiful fabrics these bit modern bit gorgeous you're going to make a great saving here it should be 59.99 i had this in the clearance show and i didn't get to show it you 39.99 that is 20 pounds off just today these are so beautiful 266 a fat quarter 100% cotton a beautiful coordinated range you get 15 fat quarters but we have just got single figures 39.99 that would mix really nice with a bit of ivory solid you could actually do a really nice twist and stitch quilt with that and when you piece it alternate <coughs> between the patterned fabric and a plain background fabric sew it into a, just a grid add your borders and then cut it up again with your twist and stitch ruler and you will get the most amazing quilt out of that the only other thing i wanted to show you quickly was the t 
tilde fat quarter bundle we never have tilde in clearance today we have got a fat quarter bundle five fat quarters from the um, hometown range should be 19.99 you're paying 14.99 you're making a five pound saving it's an absolutely gorgeous range and i love these brick reds and terracottas and teals they're just beautiful great saving on that right it is time for me to do the menu for tomorrow rosie is in presenting and i'm going to be her guest but also sandy miller chip masaki is in tomorrow so at 8 a.m you've been asking about this all weekend it's the sun the moon and the stars quilt with me guesting that's the quilt that's been hanging behind me all day today at nine o'clock sandy miller chip masaki is here with her beach combing bags and sun hats at 10 o'clock I'm going to be introducing the cobblestone cabin quilt and bonus cushion loads and loads of different ways to set this block and I give you loads of ideas in the pattern too at 11 o'clock the beach hut cushion and wall hanging with Sandy Miller Chip Masaki and then at 12 o'clock it's West Yorkshire Spinners Botanical Garden Colourwork Blanket with Danielle Dean a super fun morning tomorrow lots of giggles lots of tips and ideas too uh, listen stay cool stay hydrated enjoy the lovely weather and i will see you at 8 a.m tomorrow morning <laughs>